Fuck up that game, yeah. I'm the original Jamaican bad man. Please don't let this pull you back in. You promised us. It's a new day for me and for you. Whoever did this, I want her back. But you're glad it's over now, though. Whoever. Just a start. Precious must have said something to you before he got killed. I don't know, man. Some personal business, innit? They need to get dealt with. I need the green light. Welcome to globalwaysmedia.com. We got Pepper the Great in studio. Myself, DJ Orthodox. And of course, we've got the cast are part of the cast of the new movie series called Badness. Sure. And if you never bad before, you're not going to know about the badness. Uh, badness, uh, badness, uh, badness <laughs> upgrade, Just you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> upgrade! Yes, uh, we are Global Wave with Ella Chain, Pepe the Great. Pepe the Great, you're off camera. I can't see you, sister. Why are you always sound so far out? You afraid of me? What, may I have ears or something? Uh -uh. <laughs> what is you? Ready, ready. So we're going to run off camera. Come closer, look at me. I can't even see you, look. Oh, that's I just forget to see yourself. Mm -hmm. Come here, so far away. Yeah, and that's in the clothes with the face smile. You know, you know, it's the big body mm -hmm. smile. Mm -hmm. yeah, the camera, All the right. Clothes. I could pull the camera back so we can have more space, but I like it where it is. We and I like love the way that the guests yeah. are just yeah. that's so. all. <laughs> look at Pascal. Yeah, we look more yeah. better. Now, like, yeah. Easy. My yeah. Wife, my wife on my side. Are we yes, starting now? That's what I believe. I was thinking. Wife on side. Look there. Look how we look good. In a perfect harmony. You know. I like the beat, the beat. Tizzy, really killing his teeth. I'm just telling me check the facts. Big up DJ. All right, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop. You look like Ella. You, know? <laughs> you look like Ella. <laughs> Is that your cousin? Yeah. Same yeah. type of family look. That's my real yeah. cousin. Yeah. He could even pass for you as well, not, though. Not even. Okay, same. DJ more. Let's let's highlight DJ more. Come quick before we start the interview. Come on, going on the camera. Are you there for me? Yeah, we're there. You're here with the right show. Come on, man. Man gone, Jen, come DJ on, more. come on, come on. Real rolling. Yeah, this is real. I, I know him can't him. go to our I party. want to introduce the man himself. Let, give him the Jen, headphone. Come on. Yeah, so this is DJ Bo, my real cousin, not the pretend one. You know, yeah. when we were growing up, we used to say, he's my cousin, you know, and this time, you know, he weren't. Yeah, but yeah, we're cousins from our father's side. Yes. Um, from, yeah, yeah, yeah the Baileys. And the Baileys. Yeah, from Portland. From Portland. Manchanil, Long Bay. Yes. Them sides, yeah. Yes, yes, nice, yes, you know. Yes, yes, Beautiful. Yes. yes. Not to be. Not to be. So, so uh, God, God is the power. That's right. Always. In everything. In everything. In everything. Right. And and uh, I'm from Moods Radio. I'm from the Love Zone Radio Show. Yes. Yeah. And um, I spread. Tell us love. a bit about the loves, the, the, your love zone. We've listened to it, yeah. and we've heard you DJing and not because you're my cousin you've got it cuz yeah I'm telling yeah. you love zone is everywhere on the planet I need to figure out bro if you make a delivery for me you can deal with that soldier Darnell played a big part in this family too you know Bolo you're playing with fire trust me things are gonna get mad hot why are you dead stamp by your father I want you to do something for me be careful Bolo you see these men? They're not fucking about. You really want to give up that game, yeah? I'm the original Jamaican bad man. Good energy. energy. I don't need no negativity. Hold up. <laughs> Global Sunday. When we say Global Sunday, it has start from the 26th of May. Want to check it out? It act like the sun real. So we say Resident BJ, Orthodox Action Force. All right, this on the Sunday, Global Sunday. Hey, Boko B. Hello, Wagwan singer. Wagwan. You know me, they ain't a killer. Yes. Me lucky.
Today we have a number of guests. These guests are actors and a director from the movie Badness. Badness is a drama series based on true life events and it's a, it was screened in the Ritz in Brixton and on popular demand it was asked to screen once again. Um, one and two series was, one and two episode was screened at the Ritz in Brixton and the third and fourth episodes were screened in Brits in London Bridge. Everything was a major success. But today, we want to go behind the scenes and we want to get inside the heads of a few of the actors and definitely the main man himself, KD Pascal. We would love to speak to him today. So, by popular demand, we need these people on Global Waves today. So, first of all, I would like to welcome KD Pascal to Global Wave Saturday. Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> you can. KD Pascal, welcome. And I hope I um, pronounce your name right. <laughs> KD Pascal. That's a C E L, not a K E L. Yeah? C A L. Yeah. Oh, A, not E. Yeah, yeah. Right. And um, could I ask you, what does the KD stand for? Is that personal? Um, I mean, it's my name. Um, the K Kenneth. Okay. Um, D Demas Pascal. Yeah. Nice one. So, um, before we jump into everything, yeah, uh, I want to awesome. know a little bit about <laughs> yeah, KD himself before the movie. I want to know a little bit about you, and you know how it works with you in life itself. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to thank Moods Radio Global Wave UK for having us all today. Um, it's an honor to be here and to be able to speak about the Badness Project. Um, so first and foremost, my name is KD Pascal. Uh, many people know me as Demas. Um, born and bred London, UK. Um, Clapham and Brixton Hill. Mm -hmm. So spent most of my life growing up in South London for a long time. Um, I've been... I mean, I've been, I like to say I've been out here since 1993, which was um, the first dance that I went to in Cold Arbor Lane, Bogle Factory. And um, yeah, from there, I just, as they say, I've been outside. So when you <laughs> was actually growing up, yeah. was you more of a home person or was you on the road, in the estate, road man? What no, I was outside, was man. Outside. I, yeah, I was outside. I was outside. I'm, I'm short now, but I was even shorter then. <laughs> so this thing was this little boy there running around. But you know, I knew I knew the older guys from Brixton, and um, I used to move with a, with a lot of older people. So we used to, you know, go all around um, South London, mm -hmm. um, Brixton, Dulwich, Peckham, Catford, everywhere. Um, so for me, I was able to experience and see a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. good and bad, and which sort of added to my cup my mm -hmm. content cup and allowed me to be able to um observe so visualize it, and things like that are there any experiences when you was growing up where you know in life we change how we are or something makes a big impact on us so is there any incidents or any situations that happened to you, not bad, it doesn't have to be bad, it can be good, that made you decide, I want to be this, or I want to be that, or I don't want to do this no more, or I don't want to see that person no more. Give me a few of the experiences that have changed you, that had changed you in your life. Okay, well, I mean, you know, growing up in, in our communities, you know, we're quite open to, um, you know, circumstances you know that 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 you know many of us living or coming from single parent um households you know we go through things whether it be fighting with other estates um you know so many different things i think for me at one point i had to do what i had to do to survive mm -hmm. and um you know i've done pretty well for myself albeit it wasn't you know all legal mm -hmm. um but what happened for me i think for the transition mm -hmm. to where i am now yeah. uh, a particular incident happened well two two particular incidents happened um um one of my friends um passed away through uh, a certain situation mm -hmm. which 
woke me up and you know one day i was sitting in my car outside my house mm. and um i was approached you know by by somebody who i know in the area that you know was you know he had a bit of a habit but he had a, a, a camcorder mm. and he said to me look do you want to take this off me just give me you know a little change i don't know what to do with the camera because that wasn't my life but i said just under said you know what it's quite a good it's quite a good camera let me take it anyway so we made the exchange and i just had the camera in my house for weeks i didn't know what i could do with it because everybody that i was around they don't want to be filmed they don't want to be filmed, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to be filmed. like i'll oh, take the camera off face oh you're, you're informer whatever like so one day there was a um event in uh south bank by waterloo mm. which was a music event and at the time um there's a genre of music called grime mm. it was just coming in mm. and um what i found was that when we went down if, if you're from south london everyone's looking at you sideways because you can't be trusted mm. and the kind of people who i was around they really couldn't be, <laughs> be trusted and um so we met like um a quite a few of the grime artists and for me you know i was like because where my background i wasn't around these people you usually see them on tv so i was happy shaking their hand but they were like reluctantly shaking my hand and um i pulled out the camera i said look you know can you just you know spit some bars and i'll film it so long story short we got so many people rapping and spitting grime lyrics to the to the camera and i just when i got home i just put the camera down didn't know what to do with it but then someone said you know what now nah, i must can make a money off of this or something mm -hmm. So um, I spent, I, I must have just took some money. I spent probably about 15, 15K just buying cameras. Really? Um, yeah, yeah, because it becomes addictive. Yeah, so we're here at Global Waves and um, this is Moves Radio. We're talking to the cast from Badness. Um, we have KD Pascal, the director and the writer. We have KB, which is um, Ramon. Um, Rudy Roman. Roman Roman sorry Roman LB aka Roman we got KD Pascal we got Rudy as Fats and we got Michael as Kimpin mm -hmm. um, you know we got Pepe the Grey Ella Chin and DJ Orthodox we got Peaches in the house and we are talking to the cast themselves obviously you've gone through a few things if you can just run it through yeah, again it um, yeah. so my question was to you is Tell me an incident of what changed your life and made you actually go for the good hills. So my, my transition came um, sitting outside my house in my car. Right. Um, I was approached by someone in the community that, you know, smoke a bit and, and what have you. And they had like a, a camcorder, which I didn't have no use for, but because of the um, type of offer, that he proposed to me i thought why not let me take it didn't know what to do with the camcorder so i left it in my room um until one day an, an opportunity came to attend a music seminar mm -hmm. um i think it was called the uma or something like that in which there's going to be a lot of grime artists there um i took upon myself to go down there with, with a few friends and um we approached a lot of uh grime artists at the time wiley Skepta, Crazy Titch, Tinchy Strider, all, all big names back then. Mm. Um, I took the opportunity to film them, even though there's a bit wary because we were from we were from South London. And if you're from South London, you're not up to no good. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right. So anyway, long story short, um, filmed them. Had the had the content sitting there in the corner. Then I thought to myself, you know what, let me be a bit entrepreneurial. Um, I bought some more equipment. Um and uh, proceeded proceeded to put the footage onto a DVD. Mm -hmm. um, and at the time, the Americans were doing s something similar. I went too familiar at the time, but I realized, okay, well, this is an actual what hustle. Year, what year was this? So this was, I want to say 2004. Wow, cool. So that's yeah. actually 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Yeah. Go on. So I looked at it like, okay, well, if I take these DVDs, I don't even know what I, I don't even know if I can sell them, but let me try a thing. And at the time, Woolworths was open, <laughs> and then you had like obviously you had <laughs> you had like record shops, yeah. and I thought, chart. So I just I just I burned 
the footage onto a DVD. Um, at first, I went to uh, Clapham Common College, a college in Battersea. I was just parked outside the colleges, opened my, my, my boot because I heard that American people were doing that at the time. <laughs> and I was just selling it to the college students. Because You know, when you're buying equipment, you just buy it because, it, as I said, it becomes an addiction. It becomes, ah, oh, I just want that. It looks good. And I know I can do this with it. I can afford it. And then you get it and then you put it down. But then later on, it comes worthy. Yeah. So you decided to sell it out of your boot. So what I wanted to ask you was, growing up in South London, I've grown up in South London, most of us around here, you know, South London, big up to Brixton, Clapham Junction and all that. Um, did you ever... So in your movie, you have a lot of true life events. So what I want to ask you is how much of your own true life events did you place in badness maybe like 30 percent 30 percent yeah so the other people friends family relatives neighbors were they did you take some of their true life events oh yeah absolutely absolutely um a lot of it was through my stepdad that um which I witnessed a lot of things through him mm -hmm. and um, my uncles. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know what? Being that, that as a youngster, I was very observant. And, um, and and again, like I said earlier to someone else, is a lot of badness is what, what people have um, observed through the film has been very watered down. It was the original yeah. script itself was a lot rawer than that. Mm -hmm. um, and that was what you're actually seeing is like the ninth draft, mm -hmm. which is very watered down um, through whatever reason I won't go into. But yeah, it, it was a lot more raw than that. But give thanks, you know. All right. So you see, um, I'm just asking this for just knowledge wise. When you have memories and you have things that you can remember, do you find it easier to write about it, put it on screen? Not to take it out of your memory, but just to bring it alive once again to make sense of it. Did any of you directing make sense of things that you had in your memory? Definitely. It felt as if, um, it felt like I was venting. Mm -hmm. uh, badness was wrote quite quickly at, at my kitchen, my dining room table, because it felt like what I was doing was just remembering and recalling memories. So it wasn't too much thinking in that regard. So you know again it didn't take really long to do yeah i because um when i watch the movie i can because obviously brought up in brixton and all of that you can actually identify because where there's um someone over in that house household there's five different households that are going through the same thing so when you try and tell your story someone will say yeah, that happened to me as well. And so when we're watching the movie, a lot of people can relate, even if it's we're just a neighbor or even if it's just a school friend that it happened to their sister, we don't ha necessarily have to go through it. So um, when you've brought this movie to life and you've decided, you know what, I'm going to bring all my memories out and I'm going to put it on paper. You've put it on paper. So did you write it down as a script or did you just write it down as writing it down and then decided to turn it into a script and a movie? No, no. So I wrote it down as a script. Um, mm. Before then, my, my, I mean, I had it in, I've always had an interest in, interest in film. Um, I'd done a course somewhere in Croydon just about script writing. It was free. So I thought, you know what, let me take time out, attend this class. And um, once I understood the structure of how to um, write, I went to the library, took out some books, and I just continued to, to read. I didn't really have the, the badness idea in mind. I just knew, okay, you know, when I'm ready to write a script, I know how to structure it, how to format it. And um, I think from that point on, uh, this one I started getting watch, get, getting into watching series like you know The Sopranos. There was a a show called Boardwalk Empire, which sort of like inspired me because there was a particular character in Boardwalk mm -hmm. Empire, a guy called uh, Chalky White mm -hmm. that owned the nightclub. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. And I thought to myself, you know what? I remember when I was young, I used to go to Step Stepper's nightclub in um, 
Cold Harbor Lane. I used to work there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I was one of the bouncers at that club for, right. four, for four years. Yeah. Oh, wow. so, I, I thought your face looked familiar. Yeah, you know? I, used to, <laughs> I, used to, I used to safeguard uh, Nyam Food. Right. You know, Castro yeah. one place across the road, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if Castro go and shop or something like that, say, boy, that's yellow. It's coming yellow. Yeah. It's a yellow. Get out of the place. What is it for me? Yeah, so yeah, man. So that was the road where I learned so much, much. within that time. Yeah. So Brixton was like, for me back then, I came in the 90s. Yeah. Late 90s. Right. So there Brixton go. was yeah. hot then. Yeah. Hot. Fire. Hot. When I say hot, I mean fire. hot. Fire. Come 99, <laughs> like, 98, <laughs> fire. Yeah, not real fire. People like Wiley, Boxer George, all yeah. those people on the road. You get yeah, me? So yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so but we used to lock off that area where the club is. Yeah. But I hear all the stories from Steppers days. But I yeah. wasn't working there when Steppers was running. Really? I, I started yeah. working there when it was four and four. Yeah. Wow. You know, right. the techno. Right. You know, house yeah. music. Yeah, yeah. But Steppers, I hear some stories about that. Place, but we won't go into that. <laughs> no, do you know what? I'm, I'm glad you brought it up because yeah. I mean, for me, growing up. Yeah. Um, a lot of my me- a lot of badness is based off of those days for me. I used to, I used to go down Cold Harbor Lane, see Mad Cobra, Ninja Man, oh, yes, like yes, yes, yes. Um, Castro's family. Anyway, so it's just like a lot of that time. Um, that time period was Brixton was really active. Like there would be characters, yeah. Tuffy and all these men coming from Jamaica. Yeah, and I used to be like, it it used to be like a film to me. Yeah. So when I learned when I. When, when I mentioned earlier, learning the structure of how to create and write a film, mm-hmm. I knew when it, you know, like you get a cup, all you got to do is pour the drink pour the in there. Juice. And that's what, but so a lot of the um, characters in Badness, again, were based off of people about. So that role, Pull Over Lane, Lane that era play a lot Man, in that movie. It was good. Listen, when I say that, when I tell you <laughs> that the, 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 the film was watered down, <laughs> yeah. it had all them things in there, but. Yeah. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> I, w- I, w- I, I want to pass it on to Ella because Ella's yeah. got some um, yeah. questions for you. She's yeah. been itching for weeks. <laughs> yeah, weeks, yeah. not yeah. days. Weeks, it's weeks. Because yeah. everyone's going to get a talk today. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be here till the night goes down. Everyone's going to get a talk. Do we get dinner Everyone, as well? Everything, <laughs> lunch, dinner, bread everything. Bread everything. Bread 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 do you know what? I had some stuff written down, you know. But you know, you know when you go to, you know when you go to a wedding, King Ping, and and the, the best man has got some, he's got the paper. Yeah. And then when you realise the vibe is different. I told her. I said. To her, I said. I said. All right. Yeah. Then, yeah. So that's one of them moments now. Yeah. So once again, big up yourself, Katie Pascal. I just want to say you. it's a it's a pleasure to have all of you here Thank today. You. Thank you. And without wasting any more time, um, because. I like the way that Pepe's sort of like um you, you go know, girl yeah. yeah she's yeah. Like, she's my no I'm his side chick she, we, we bounce <laughs> off of each other we bounce off each other yeah the wife, so, the wife on the yeah, side yeah, chick yeah the wife <laughs> on the side <laughs> chick yeah she's actually you know um, being the wife she's um, I'm, I'm kind of like yeah DJ Abdus is fine. You can have the side yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alright with that type of thing. Yeah. Ella, in that case, yeah. and his sisters. <laughs> I've allowed it. Forget yeah. the real side chicken. I like it. That's how the man them want to live anyway. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's been con- it's been consented. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what yeah, it's, it's good to laugh. We consent to a side chicken. Like, <laughs> this one for him. Yeah. How can I bad miss that? I'm not bad miss that. I'm not bad miss that. Yeah. I do a, 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 a make up badness. <laughs> yeah, you know, the side chick with, with Outer Road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he wants one of them ones. Yeah, them big but butter, man, big breast, on. <laughs> Paws here and chicken foot. <laughs> That's the way you want the chicken foot ones then. <laughs> All right. As we move, we're moving straight through. Okay, yes. let's get back on track. So we're getting back on track, but it's good to have a laugh, isn't take it? it away. Yeah. It's good to, it's it's good to have take a laugh. the wheel, take the wheel. So going back to um, KD Pascal, as Pepe, Pepe done the intro and stuff like that. My interest is because I kind of remember that time, the Coal Harbour, some of it, because I was like one of the youngest out of older brothers. So I, I heard little things, you know, when you, you got older brothers and you hear them in the bedroom whispering and talking, me and my sister would be listening to find out what's going on. So you took basically what was going on in that time. Yeah. And so beautifully, I haven't obviously seen the screen, the screens because we didn't get to mm-hmm. go, true, true. you know, um, 
but so beautifully from what I've been hearing, put it into a movie. How did that, I mean, you told us that you, you stood in your kitchen and you wrote, how did that inspiration come? How, was, how did that feel? Because I could never imagine. Writing a script. Yeah, how did that all come together, you know? I mean, it's, it was always inside me. I, I, do you know what? In truth, in truth, um, I've always felt that when movies come out, I'd always feel like, oh, they're missing this or they're not saying this or yeah. why, why does yeah, Jamaican true. sound so cockney? Or did, yeah, it doesn't yeah. sound too convincing. Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, I tell you what, I said this at the screening actually. What happened was Idris Elba mm-hmm. yeah. made a film called Yardie. Yeah, I think I just And mm-hmm. I went to the screening and I was expecting to see, okay, yeah, like what was in my head? I'm thinking, okay, we're going to see that on the screen. Yeah. So when he played that and I watched it, I just, I left the cinema so disappointed. <laughs> and, and you know what? Yeah. Expectations. My expectations yeah. were so high because, only because I was actually a fan. Yeah. It was a book at first by yeah. Victor Headley. Yeah. Um, for a publishing company called something like Express Publishing or something like that. Yeah. You had Yardy, you had Bame, of all these yeah, books. Yeah, mm-hmm. And I remember reading the books and in my head it's like, okay, yeah, this guy called D comes from yeah. Jamaica and mm-hmm. this happened. And I was like, yeah, so this film is just going to really just do it justice. Yeah. Watching it, I left the cinema disappointed. Um, I contacted um, the writer, Victor yeah. Headley, yeah. on Facebook. Wow. And I said, look, man, let me let me redo it i'll do it properly yeah. and he's like boy i've sold the option mm-hmm. to bbc i think it was yeah. so i contacted the, contacted the bbc mm-hmm. and i said look i want to do the yardy thing and uh, project and they were like i don't know they just sort of like mm-hmm. you know took me in, took me on a ride and then i thought i thought i'm cool i'm gonna write my own one then yeah um and then you know from that point i began to develop the story um badness and sort of thought you know well what do i want to see in there yes, yes do you know and um i thought you know let me draw on the film and i'm eating and the film at the time was called circle of revenge right. and i thought okay what's this this is new because i hadn't really seen much dvds since my wave of dvds um in terms of music kind of died down so this was director said to me this is the character roman but make him yours now. When I saw you at the screening, Mm -hmm. I couldn't separate the two people because your face, the expressions that you had on screen, (laughs) you had them on at the screening. I'm sorry. No, no, but but to tell the truth, Mm -hmm. what was the difference was, I couldn't make out if it was you. (laughs) I I, I said to Peaches, weren't he in the movie? But you stood there like, no, I weren't. (laughs) <laughs> I said yes he was he was in there and he, you just carried on doing something else like, and I thought that was just so like cool yeah. and then when I looked at your face good I'm saying no that's him that's him and then when the <laughs> film came on I looked at it and I said Peaches that's yeah, him you're but your it. face you've got <laughs> ways of putting your face yeah. that he chose the right character yeah. for mm. that scene, the right yeah. face. Nigel, I know you're hitching <laughs> because I know you've got stories to tell. I know how it goes. You want to uh, say something? Yeah, the director just um, threatened me. and just <laughs> said, um, Security at <laughs> mic one. <laughs> no, because um, obviously... Yeah, no, because obviously... I don't know if you know about Circle of Revenge. Don't know about what Bolo but, came from. Where yeah, he what he, yeah, he said. Yeah, yeah I, he I, worked, yeah. I worked in that as well, and I played two people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your okay. face. See it there? Your face looks familiar. See? I see. It, I know. It's you it. played two, two people. Wow. Two, two people. Yeah. Two people. And you got, you got the, you've got that talent to do that. And term, mm. I've got an eye, you know. <laughs> I've got an eye because I could see you could work your faces two ways. Yeah, yeah. Very good at that, what you that's do. That's because of the director when he's directing us saying. L, you can act with your eyes as well yeah. and stuff like that. Stand to the director 
And then last one, yeah. Um, I'm Tyrese's body double for Fast and Furious. So I did. Okay. Fast round and of Ferris. applause. Yeah. A round yes, of applause. Yeah. Did everybody hear that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you say, um, <laughs> this is him telling me. Yes. Yes. Um, can you, can got, you say that again, please? <laughs> um, I'm Tyrese's body double in Fast and Furious six, nine, and ten. My amazing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, amazing. Yes, um, man. Yeah. Like like I've got it. my own web series called Where's the Ops? You just Ops. told me to plug it <laughs> as well. So yeah. yeah. Uh, this is great. I'm Thank just, you. I'm just, I'm really appreciating mm-hmm. you guys in the house. You true, know what I'm saying? True, true. And everything just keeps popping up and popping up. It's like, you. you know, listen, box. Nigel. Yeah. No, I'm going to ask a, a question right. of you before oh, yeah, you go. Oh, yeah, sorry. Because, um, pass on, pass I'm on. I'm leaving the interview to the two ladies while popping no one then. Got you. Um, I have to say this, but you're an inspiration to a lot of youngsters growing up. And your demeanor, as Pepe just said, you're calm, it's collective, true. you're doing what you're doing, but you're not you're not showing off you're not mm. going out no, there no. making yeah, noise yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. you're just doing what you can we didn't know that you were you were in those movies no, exactly. i thought that this was your first movie mm-hmm. i know i recognized and, um, your face now that pepe yeah, you answered her yeah. i'm looking back and i'm thinking i'm thinking but i know a lot of other guys that do stuff that you do and like similar mm. but they they, they, they their demeanor and the way they carry on around mm-hmm. people is way different. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You know, you come in, you're humble, we even, you know, so true. this Used is a thing that I said to youngsters, choose role models mm-hmm. very carefully. Mm-hmm. And to me, you're a good role model because you're humble at you. what you do. And um, you're very talented because you, you just mentioned that he does things with his face that you yeah. even, he, he can ghost you quite easily. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you a know? That's, a so that's a good thing. A transformer. A yeah. He actually moved like a transformer yeah. that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to take an ad break, people. <laughs> Most high death and deathless. Are the great one? Yeah. You know, I really that scale down. Are the whistling bullet? Are the whistling bullet? Are the whistling bullet? From the wave, them there. <laughs> Drift from the wave. Global wave. Yeah, global yes. wave. That's what we're drifting at. All right. So, Pepe the Great. <laughs> What's up, man? LA Chin is in the building. Don't know. The cars of badness is in the building. Mm-hmm. Let me turn this on a little bit. Yeah, can you even load it clearly? You understand me? So, obviously, we are back. We have some food to eat and such and such. And um, we have a chat with our cast earlier on. We're back for part two. So welcome back, globalwavemedia.com, aid of development and all that big power sponsors. All right. Mm-hmm. Enough respect to one and all. Yeah. Okay. Pepe. Check, check. You sound <laughs> mute. What are going on over Pepe? Check, check. Yes. Check, check. Uh, hey. Well, yeah, the best yeah. way to be unconditional love is the strongest love. Real. And I rest my case. Uh, no shensi around Pe- here. Pepe is no like a, a Pepe is like a sergeant major. No. <laughs> oh, who? Oh, tension. Oh, up two, three, Stand four. Stand by your bed. Straight in your back. <laughs> okay, so we're back on track. Give thanks some more for that. J-Mo. The Love Zone and Moods Radio. All right, have a look, have a listen, and take it. Be very funny. They are giving us some nice jokes and all that. So we got more. All right, you get to meet the man behind the voice temporarily. Yeah. All right, until yeah. next time. So in house we've got who else? Badness. We've got LB, yes. Roman, KD Pascal, yes. and we have got Rudy, yes. and we also got King Ping. Yes. So in the as you know, we also got a song that we use for badness, you know. Everybody liking this song because of this movie. I love it. I love it more than the drip. Yeah, that move will definitely become the new more song. The, the new drip. thing for that, that, that song. Yeah, the theme song, yeah. <laughs> Sadness is going to be big. It's going to be big. 
You're listening to Global Wave Saturday on the airs each and every Saturday. You have DJ Orthodox, Elichin, and me, Pepe the Grey. Peaches is on the left hand side. In the building, you know we're talking to the cast and the director of Badness the Movie. Go and see it, go and watch it. Anywhere you can find it, they're trying to put it on Netflix. But when it's there, I want everybody to watch that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's got good reviews. Pepe the Great is here interviewing the cast and the director. Ella Chin is on my right and she has the wheel whenever I lose control. But in the meantime... <laughs> what but in the meantime... We, listen, are we going to take this down and we want to talk to um, Rudy? Yes. Yeah? yes. We're going to talk to Rudy right about now. Yeah, man. Okay. Right. Let's take it down some and let's hear what yeah, Rudy has to say. Rudy the first. SpongeBob by you. Why be the SpongeBob? Why? Why? Don't go the way, mate. Don't go the way, thing, brother. This is a foolish men will be start, men, though. guys. Men as will be soon men. as I take the mic, I fall. Don't influence them. The foolishness got to start now. Yeah, yeah. Like them thing yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, clown out my thing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, badness thing. Yeah, badness thing, we say straight. All right, you know, all right. You know, bad no, up no, no joke. You know, no, 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 Pretty Lou, big up yourself. Yvonne. Five nine 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 seven. You got one bag of no, numbers no, in your no, name. No, no, Pretty no. chick, bless up yourself. No. Razor Sherlock, big up yourself. Big no. shout out. Razor to the Sherlock, family. did it. White the chin family. <laughs> Peaches, big up yourself. All of the directors. Like men chin, will I'll be go. men. <laughs> all right, all right. Talk to him for me, Ella. Ella. Are you re- are you ready, Pepe? Ready like Freddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bad man time. Bad all time. right then. Yeah, let's go. Start it, Pepe. All right. Yeah. So. Welcome to Global Waves. You're listening to Pepe the Great from Great yep. Amazing Production. I want to quick and fast welcome you to Global Waves. Yes, thank, thank you for you coming. Very much. Thank you for spending your time. Oh, it was, it's In been the meantime, a, it's been a we're going to ask you quick and fast. Tell me a quick little bit about yourself. What school you went to? What yeah, college you went to? Not? Where you grew up? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. Well, I grew up in um, Brixton all my life. From my mom take me from the hospital at Josephine Avenue. Okay. That's Brixton. <laughs> mom, the yeah, park. Brixton, right? Yeah. Water Lane. My yeah. mom brought me to Brixton and I never what left. What school Brixton. did you attend? I went to St. Andrew's Primary School on Lando Road. Okay. Oh, I, know oh, I knew Road. that. Yeah. And yeah. I went to Cowley. Wow. Yeah. And from Cowley, I went to um, Archbishop Tennyson's. Mm-hmm. Did you go to college? Yes, I went to Lambeth College. Wow. Okay. And what uni did you go to? I went to. Um, Sunderland University. Wow, in wow. you're good. Speak up yourself. Yeah. yeah. Education is the key. Yeah, so, definitely. when you was actually raising in all these schools and whatever, how, what did you, because none of us are what we are. I don't know. Some people are not what we are today. Definitely. Because when my mum asked me what I wanted to be, I said I wanted to be a traffic warden. I yeah. don't know. I was only seven or eight. I meant lo- lollipop lady, but at the time yeah. they were called traffic what? wardens. Yeah. You were so, one of the most ruthless <laughs> traffic wardens on earth. Everyone will get a ticket. Everybody get a ticket. What did you want to be? What? Growing up in stages, because we go from stages wow. that we want to be this, then well, we want to be like our dad, then we want to be mm-hmm. like our brother. What did you? What, well, what my mom, one? my mom always told me for Sorry. some reason when um friends used to come to her house when she was hiding the liquor. Yes, we know. From that. her friends, her friends will come in, and I was about three years old, and you know these kids now mm. we pick up a tablet or a phone and they just. My mom had a gramophone them days there. I would put mm-hmm. on the record on the gramophone mm-hmm. and her friends then would be there and I would draw this bottle from somewhere where my mom didn't want it to be found <laughs> and I would go to her guest and say, you want a drink? You want a drink? You want a drink? <laughs> and um, my yeah. mom said, I want to have pit here. <laughs> no, no, no. It forward them we there, you see? Yeah. yeah, it was forward and um, used to play music t- for them and entertain them mm-hmm. i just love music mm-hmm. and when i was in um cowley school um, um the calypso band used to be in the school as a part of the music Brilliant. and a man named mr decarius oh i knew him mr, mr. delay yeah he was from barbados yeah and mr decarius and mr gale our school didn't he what be yeah mr decarius and mr gale mm-hmm. mr gale was a brown like like kingpin 
you said, call me me back. <laughs> Wait a minute, did Come they used to play the, the um, kids? You used to play the, the drum. Yeah, they yeah. came Mr. to my school yeah, as well. Mr. Yeah. Girl. Yeah. So mm. Mr. Girl, I used to love the drums. Yeah. The steel band wasn't me. Steel yeah. band, yeah. I used to love drums. Yeah. And I was little like this. Mm-hmm. And when I hit, when I used to go around that little stool, they couldn't believe a little man like this would kick these drums so hard. Yeah. So, yeah, I love that kind of art form in music. So which, where did you take it after that? Because after drums, that, it's different from um, yeah. acting. It's different from a lot of things. Way, but it's yeah. a part of art. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah, a part yeah, of yeah. art. Take it, because in our life, we do go from stages to stages. So from yeah. the drums, where did you go? From the drums, um, secondary school, never do nothing. No, I did. Um, formed a little song, Younger Sovereign. Wow, yeah. Younger Sovereign from Sovereign. Left to took it from Younger Sovereign, take it to Sovereign Syndicate. Yeah. With other... Um, peers I grew yeah. up with in South London. Yeah, big in, up yourself, Barry Nicholas. Yeah, big up culture. Big up Barry Dalla. Yeah. yeah, culture, Stevie Culture, yeah. Pandamatic. Yeah, we grew, we we took the sound and started to cut dub plates. Which dub plates, well, it was kind of crazy, like, because it cost money. Mm. And we had to invest. <laughs> and um, Garnet Silk was, I will always remember the Garnet Silk dub plate because Garnet Silk passed on. Um, we used to run up a high phone bill on my mum's bill, yeah. <laughs> on my mum's BT bill, and mum would say, "Oh, oh, oh, oh I call Jamaica." <laughs> oh, you want a song for court? the bill. We say hundred and that pound for the bill, and rah, mum, hey, you got chip in, and we chip in and say, "Oh, it's just give your mum something." Yeah, yeah, we chip in and darn it, suit dub, and we put the plate on the turntable and say, "Garnet, Garnet Sims." His name was Garnet Sims, not Garnet Silk. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we say, rah, that thing I bad him sound like a woman I sing he. And we say, yeah, it sound good. And then after a little after, when his greatness came, he passed. Yeah. So how how much did Garnet Silk influence you to carry on and reach for different? No, nah, the dub plate thing. When we saw the dub plate thing, it was could could get us us as young youths start playing sound like Steppers YM Bar. As um, Dima said, we used to play in Steppers Wine Bar with mm-hmm. Taylor Phonic yeah. in the well, connection. Steppers. Big up T, after yeah. Big Richard up Tony, Taylor. let me do this quickly. Yeah. After Big up Tony and Miss Louise, yeah, they were the owners, the white lady, yeah, Louis. Miss Louise, big up herself, yeah. nice lady. Big up to- Tony. Tony, yeah. Naps brother, yeah. we know him, good, good, yeah, Louis and Tony. Yeah, man. Yeah. And, and, and Richard Taylor, big up Richard yeah, Taylor. Big up yeah, big Taylor Phonic, Taylor. He used to play there all the time. And Taylor, big up brother. So oh, getting into it. the sound business, getting into the dub yeah. plates, it's all a, a matter of performing arts. It definitely, all comes under one definitely. Umbrella. Yeah, we play, as know. a young youth, we played with the best of them, like Chris Goldfinger when he was running Astro World at the start of it, yeah. and um, Nasty Love. They would, they looked upon us as a, like these little guys, them playing sound like this, you know. Mm. And they had, we had a formation about us, and we before the dub plate thing, we was DJing without mm. dub plates, mm. dub plates, and the DJing. How we used to DJ and select the sound as little youths. We was like up there. Mm. People looked upon it. Every like passing the estate, every house you could hear a tape recording playing like speakers. Yeah. They were blasting out this tape, sovereign, younger sovereign. Yeah. So music tape. is part yeah. of a lot of us were grown up with music, and music is a part of us. Mm-hmm. But where do we when do did you make the crossover because a lot of us when yeah. we talk about our past we talk about music mm-hmm. but some are in acting some are in designing some yeah, are in modeling well, acting. But music is always part of it so where did you you're still into music you're yeah still into definitely much so De- when yeah did the you sound make the still crossover? going on did somebody approach you to say no, you can do this or acting acting came from school plays mm-hmm. from school plays I met a school friend that mm-hmm. was gonna do something. I was going through a breakup. I had nothing's doing, like not nothing's doing, but I, I was kind of free. Mm-hmm. And he said, "Yeah, I'm filming something every Sunday. Like, you wanna be a part of it?" And I done one part, and he said, "Yo, oh, that part was good, you know. You done good." Yeah, natural. I said, mm-hmm. "Okay, okay, all right. I'll do it again." And then from there, kept on going. That was from Little Bastards. Okay. Oh. Everybody How old saw was it. You then? Yeah. yeah, I was like. 45 wow. maybe 45 yeah so how 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 much does it inspire you acting because acting takes us to a different Love level it. it brings out different kind of yeah. emotions inside us yeah how much do you appreciate getting that privilege to be an actor yeah i love it i love it i wouldn't change it for the world you know like acting 
for to take up this kind of art and just want like mm. act it's, it's 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 good it's me do you it's me all do over. you wish that you would pursue that career earlier on in your life yes maybe go to acting school uh-huh. yeah i wish i did do it but and take it never on a too different, late yeah. so no. how, how did you actually how did you get into badness Where? how did i get into badness well mm. i got into badness me and kingpin was somewhere I'm mm. um, my friend Ticker, part of the sound. His father passed, um, and we went to his, fun- his dad's funeral, and we was at the after bit. I, it, it was in the back garden because COVID was just finishing, and um, we was in the back garden. And the distance, social distance, they tried to keep that. And it was going on, and so we was in the back garden, yeah, talking and everybody around. And Kingpin said he just got a call, and I said, "What? What kind of call you get?" He said, "Yo." Mikey, just call me and say, Yeah, you want me? So, going who's Mikey? Mike's big Mike's Mike's is the big guy in, in oh, Badness. Yeah. And Mikey, um, he was in, he's, he's um, in, he's in Badness. McCalla, Mikey, no, McCullough. no, is Mikey McCalla. Oh, Katie yes, McCalla's brother, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, him yeah, yeah, from yeah, Stockwell Estate, yes, yeah, yes, 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 that's right, that's Mikey right, McCalla, and yeah. his sister, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. he called Kingpin and said, Yeah, he wants King to do this, um part mm. in a movie and mm. king said why we can't do it you can't move right now he said rudy i got you're, you're gonna have to do this this um movie you know like yeah you're gonna have to take this part here i said what he said yeah you're gonna take the part do it so you know cha like really like ended up have to get my passport got my passport same time um true i'm used to them things get my passport not that's for kind of way but get my passport give it to the people make them book the flight so online and before stuff you like even that. got on the flight yeah who did you get the call from to he say got it from mikey you got the part i never got the part he, he, there was no one saying they got the part there was yeah. no in the interview or nothing yeah no audition. mikey just called kingpin to say yeah you can do the part as a jamaican doing yeah. the part so how did you get to get on the flight? king said i could do it King, King oh, said, I'm not going to go. Him. Yeah, instead of him to oh, play the role as oh, this you. person. So you went and done it. I went and done it. Okay. Yeah. So so when you got, did Pascal just welcome you? As no, I didn't know it was him because yeah. I just jumped on the plane mm-hmm. and flew to Cyprus. Mm-hmm. Flew to Cyprus. I didn't know where I was going. I've never been Cyprus. I've always been Jamaica, mm-hmm. America, local places. I don't know if Cyprus, like, as I said, like, the Mediterranean Sea is just there, over there, so, uh, 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 Africa, yeah. you know? It's in the middle. I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a, like, grab, uh, um, like, lands and history. I know where I am. Yeah. I just know. Dr- so Dr- you Dr- never Dr- knew Dr- Pascal Dr- before you got to know? Yeah, I did know him. Oh, you did know him? I did know him, not know like personally. Him. I did know him. I knew him from the streets of South London. Yeah. But I didn't know him personally. Okay. So, when I, who I saw first was LB. Yeah. I saw LB first. I said, "Raw LB," like I come out of the airport, got to the place, the hotel. I was there, strange face, like strange places. I say, "What's this?" I said, "I saw LB." I said, "Raw LB, walk on." He said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He said, "Yeah, man, this is, yeah." I said, "Yeah, good, you're good." When I saw LB, I know it's LB. Mm. And me and LB met on a mad thing. As well. But remember, you haven't been given this part as yet. I wasn't given the part. Yeah, so he sent you instead of him, and you've arrived at the destination. Yeah. So what's happened when, when I re- seen you? When I reached the destination, then I saw um, Demas. And what did he say? And Demas said, yes, <laughs> on board, yes, nice, Oh, so nice. he knew you were coming? Yeah, he oh, knew I was oh, coming. Oh. Oh, he knew the switch hey, over. That's crazy. I never even asked him about that. Because you're waiting for me to come. And he said, like, who's he going to send? Like, who's they, yeah, they yeah. saying they're going to send? This, this guy's coming from nowhere. He's oh. going to send. They sent for me. So as soon as he's seen you. To so KD, as soon as you've seen him, one, one talk quickly. As soon as you saw him, did you have any doubts of well, how's this character going to be? Or I don't want him. Or yes, I want him on first glance. <laughs> No, I I had already received pictures of him, okay. so I I already made up in my mind okay. how I'm gonna figure it out and how we're gonna move forward. So okay. he was it, and he was actually perfect for the role. Okay, you know. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Rudy. Yeah. Yeah. So um, playing the part, yeah. you started from apparently they started filming from 2014. Yeah. What year did you enter it? 
what badness yeah 2017 okay. 17, 2018 yeah 2018 yeah and i noticed that you know you your your character is very you know significant 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 sorry yeah and i noticed that it means a lot yeah definitely yeah. that role and that guy and that voice i put on to speak jamaican because <laughs> i'm not speaking jamaican i'm speaking english yeah right? to just play that role and come out and deliver it how he wanted it to be delivered you know what it was easy i'm gonna Ella, you know I'm a hog hish. So you take the wheel, yeah? Yeah. All right, you okay. do your thing. Yeah, it was kind of easy. That's it, yeah. Yeah, good evening, everybody. Once again, thank you for joining us on the Global Waves platform. Once again, I'd like to say that we've got bad, the Badness crew with us today. Um, and it's been a good day. Yeah. It's been a good, good day. <laughs> So, Rudy, I know obviously Pepe's asked you a few questions yeah. about your your background with regards to growing up and yeah. how you um, came into the badness, how it all started. Yeah. So, of course. without giving away too much, what's your favourite line? Um, should I say, without giving away anything about the movie itself, what's your favourite line of dialogue? A line of dialogue. Yeah. Like Without Divas, giving too Divas, much away. Divas always reminds me, like, because that bit was a, like, at that bit at the stage of the, um, of the Badness series, that bit was, when I went into that settings, that yeah. was my settings, like, I'm going to take on a big role to mm -hmm. say more things, like a lot of things, was around the table mm -hmm. when I was, um, having a conversation, business deal with the uh, Russians. Yeah. And, um, the woman asked me, what's your day been like, Mr. Mr. Fats? And I said, you know, it's just badness as usual. <laughs> you know, so we do it. You love that bit. Yeah. Say it again, let me hear. Yeah. It's just, you know, what's your day like being like Mr. Rudy? You say, you don't know. It's just badness as it's usual. Badness. You know how we do it. <laughs> you take that from the chest, yeah? Yeah. That, yeah. That, from right from the chest. I yeah. can hear it. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. not the throat or the lung. No, no, That's no. That's definitely chest. coming from yeah. the chest. Yeah. She said, yeah. Yeah. so she said, so we deliver. Yeah. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. So leading on from that question, actually, yeah. and your answer that, that you've given, what do you like about the role and what do you not yeah. so like? Fats. What's the two parts? Fats is the... A bad man thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a bad man thing. Like, Fats is the guy, not my kind of guy. No, he is. Because mm -hmm. he don't take for no foolishness, isn't it? If mm -hmm. I bring you, not if bring you, if I treat you as a friend, and you try to violate, I'm going to put you in your place. Right, right. You understand? Right. And I will stand to that and make you know, say, yeah, you yeah, go on with eat that thing you're going with you hear that oh, wow. so that, that kind of thing that Fats is trying to show him mm -hmm, say mm -hmm, like, eat that thing he's going on with you know mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I treat you like this we, we were like brother and you're going like you're, you're going to mm. outsmart out me right. yeah. you understand right. yeah. so I have to show him say yo fix up you know fix up a gunshot mm -hmm. selfish mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. so it's funny you know because leading on to my next question you've sort of like it's like as if you know what you've already known what I'm going to ask you. Yeah. So, how do you see your character? How different is your well? Your my character is much humble. I'm silent. Mm -hmm. I don't talk nothing. It. Is it a lot like yourself? So, what's the difference? Is there a lot of difference between your own personal character and that person? Yeah, there's and, a and the there's a there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. Big difference. I yeah. deal with things different. Like Wanna elaborate different. A bit? Like <laughs> <laughs> no, like him. Like. Mm -hmm. Him, similar, similar, not mm -hmm. that different. It's just a spy, like a spare of the moment. Yeah. Like when I'm in that mind of going off, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like in a, in the streets for real, because yeah. I've man's lived this. I've been in prison in Jamaica for four years. So you can relate. To yeah, I can relate to mm -hmm. certain little characters. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've, you know, I've been in the streets, grew up, and done certain things, and mm -hmm. I know how things can play out. So do you think because of that? Does that help to sort of like put yeah. emphasis on your role? Oh yeah, definitely. People then can then definitely because obviously with when we are watching yeah. people who are watching the viewers, mm. we can so easily get into that the capture the moment the capture of the acting. The, yeah, of the, of the and that's acting what it's all about, isn't it? The, the, yeah. the director wants the, the the actors to play that role, so yeah. the grip the people are gripped. Yes, definitely. Because even the um, there's a there was a situation there was a scene um in the movie 
um, the series, like um, where I meet Bolo and acting out a scene with Bolo for the first time. To Bolo, he knows his his um his lines, his, mm-hmm. his lines so yeah. good. Yeah, he was like he's not he's not even trying. Mm-hmm. So he knew it. I when I got on badness, I didn't learn my lines. Yeah, yeah. I had to do it, it there did. and then. Mm-hmm. And Pascal Demas um, explained it and said, "Yeah, just get into this character." Because he taught me. I remember that day he took me outside and said, "Yeah, we were standing inside." Said, "Yeah, hold the paper and just look. Listen, just read those lines. Yeah. Just do that. Just do that." I said, "Yeah." And after him saying everything, I said, "Yeah, like I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it." Mm-hmm. And I didn't get it right. Mm-hmm. A few times I didn't get yeah. it right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and then there was a silence that so you could hear a pin drop the last time and it was yeah. just before lunch. He said, yes! You got it. You got it. He said, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with that. Lunch! Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that was it. Be- I like. And you know what I want to say? Yeah. He done superbly well mm-hmm. at such short notice. Mm-hmm. I was... Mm-hmm so impressed that i have to definitely give him his flowers he done very well Oh, I can't even give it a 10. This was past a 10. Come and see the next series. This is a great movie. What we have to support each other. Good vibe. Like you hear people reaction and people laugh and so far it's so good. They have done an amazing job, a really, really amazing job. Uh, in the full I play Marcel, um Bolo Sun. Yes. Uh, on screen son, I play Bolo's wife. Uh Ayana is my character. I want to see the rest of it. It's a good look. What's up, man? Badness. Badness upgrade. Badness upgrade. Dogs place, enough key, enough money, both keys. Just buy your house, figure store money upstairs. Summer, autumn, spring Our oh, love has no end We go all through four seasons My lover and a friend Up here Listen Up here world I'm one in a big corner Put the more for you for Nobody knows how Yeah Don't let it take your love away the people are in the house and i'm they telling are. you yeah. i am happy and i'm telling you i am joyful yeah. i am glad and i'm giving god bless you mm-hmm. know why because you see that what dj orthodox just done yeah. it just makes me proud of the course. way you put that yeah, together, of course. dj dots mm-hmm. i just feel chuffed you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> and we couldn't have done it without kaylee pascal mm-hmm. yeah we got we got demos 
Thing Naturalus. Happened, you know what I'm saying? They got Naturalus the Demos. And everybody <laughs> who attended the screening that is not here now, yeah. all of the actors that took part mm -hmm. that are not here, we're giving you guys a big, big, big request, a yeah. big, big, big up, a big, big shout out. You know yes. what I'm saying? Big up to Bolo. He's the star. Yeah. yeah? Main star. Big main up star. to um, Danny Bless. Yeah. Big up to Kim Kardashian. Um, call some names for me, um, Rudy. Um, big up. Um, what's the name? <laughs> um, yeah, bolo, no, bolo. No, bolo. Apart from Bolo, um, all the rest of them, because oh, you, you know, know, I know the most of them. When, Juanita, Bola, yeah. uh, even Tracy as well. Yeah, Tracy. yeah. Listen, Jade, 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 Jade. That's Jade. right. Yeah, too many names to mention. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. Full cast. The 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 girl that plays um Bolo's side chick, which yeah. is UK Jade. Black Rose, Tia. Oh, oh yeah, T -O, yeah, yeah. She Black has Rose. just given birth to a baby girl yesterday. Okay, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. That's her right there on the screen. Wow. Okay. She plays wow. Bolo's side chick, if you can. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Quite a while back. Yeah, she, yeah, big up inside Black Rose. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. UK yeah. Black Rose. She's an yeah, artist. Yeah. Um, yeah, congratulations to congratulations, UK Black, Black Rose. Rose. She's one of the cars. Yeah. Baby girl, yeah? Yeah. This morning I heard that she gave birth yesterday. Oh, so wow, congratulations. Wow, okay. Yeah, the Taurus baby. The Taurus baby. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Like me um, and Kingpin. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, Kingpin, you've been sitting there very patiently. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I know you've got a lot to say, but remember, we've got three key words that we don't mention, you know, them words. Um, but in the meantime, we want to welcome Kingpin to this interview. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give him a round of applause. Yeah. Kingpin. Yo! Legendary. Legendary. Kingpin. Yeah, big man ting. You've been around for a long time. Big history, icon, legendary, trendsetter. I mean, what else can I add to the list? Actor, performer, entertainer. Mm -hmm. How do you Promoter? do? How you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, where it all started. Yeah, I don't know organic business from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, primary school against um and some city. Against said private high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, London, UK. <laughs> Fly down. Mm. Yeah. So you're arriving in England. Um, how old was you when you came to England? Teens. Wow. Yeah. So when you arrived in England, what was your dreams? What was your ambition? What was your goal? The dream was just to get away. <laughs> <laughs> From the trials and uh -uh. the tribulations. Uh -uh. <laughs> and it was... You can to yeah, that. yeah, at that time, yeah. the dream was so big that uh -huh. we had to get away. Yeah. How mm -hmm. much of your dreams have you accomplished in the time that you've been in Great Britain? <laughs> Good question. A lot. That is good. That's what I want to hear. That's mm -hmm. nice to hear. Um, the greatest thing is not uh, about the achievement. It's mm -hmm. just the people that you come across while mm -hmm. you go on your journey. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, many people have influenced you in your journey because coming here at Teens, you're a big man now. So many people, you know, have influenced you. Not just Jamaicans, England, Americans, you know, all different kind of people. Mm -hmm. Um when you are growing up in Great Britain, um, how much do you really want to, like, you come from Jamaica, how much do you really want to give credit to Jamaica? Like, you will come over here, did you want to be something that Jamaicans wanted you to be, or did you just want to be yourself? Because some people just want to be what other Jamaicans are, and then some people have got their own mind and they just want to be something different. Mm -hmm. Did you do it for your culture or did you just do it for who you was created to be? Well, I would say I would do it for who I was created to be because stuff that is in the journey cannot be changed unless you know where you're going or where you're coming from. You know what I mean? The so. reason why I ask you this is because your image, your style how you attend certain venues. You always look different from the rest. You mm. think out of the box. Your creativity when you're actually putting on your garments is different. And a lot of people don't dress like you. So 
and a lot of Jamaicans don't dress like you. So I always admired you because of how you just didn't be the same as everybody else. And it's very hard as a Jamaican because Jamaicans get a lot of stick for not being the same as other Jamaicans. Mm. And I always admired you over the years for just being you. unique. Yeah, mm. being different, unique, retro. You come up with different things. And half of the time, the things that you come up with, they come into style 10, oh. 15 years later. So I just wanted... You answered my question and you answered it truthfully because another person would sit there and say, yeah, mommy, do it for the culture. I'm do it for me. I do me. Mm. Yeah. You answered it correctly and I knew that's the question I was getting, but I was just seeing. You're a truthful man. You're very genuine. Peaches said it. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes when I'm in interviews, I do ask questions to see because a lot of people lie in interviews mm. and they don't tell the truth some of them are scared to tell the truth and you did that so the acting it's part of your um you can tell you're a performing arts guy um how early did um acting come into your life well, to be an ambassador or, acting, um, acting, you can tell you <laughs> acting really is from day one because mm -hmm. we all are acting on this earth. You understand? So, we just have to get into our character all the time. Mm -hmm. Whether we're doing films, music, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. being a natural. It's so just like that. It's, it's true what you say, we're all actors, because a lot of people do say that. And life is an act, because mm -hmm. we act when we're at work, we act when we're in front of our children. We act when we're going for a job. We act. It's all an act. And as they say, my man over there said it, if you can't act. Who is my man? Um, LB. LB. Yeah, Roman, yeah. 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 What did he, he, he said something, if you can't act, mm -hmm. you'd, I can't remember what he said, but, pardon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but you yeah. used the phrase and said, "If yeah. you can't act, then yeah, some, because can't, acting is really like the experience yeah, of some one are life." At it than some, you've got con artists, you've got scammers, you've mm -hmm. got um, pickpockets, mm -hmm. you've got you know people that knock on your door and sell you hundred psychopedias that mean yeah. nothing. Mm -hmm. They're very good at it, and then you've got some people that just can't act to save them their life. Mm -hmm. But what I also do like is when you was actually on. Um, badness, your character was really cool. And I like that. I like a cool actor because some people can overreact mm -hmm. and some people can underact, but you was right in the middle and I did like that about your character. Yeah, thank you. So very much. I just want to know where do you see yourself in the future? Do you see yourself getting more roles? And if you do see yourself getting more roles, what kind of roles would you love to have? Well, I live in the now. I don't live in the future. Okay. So, whatever is out there for me, whatever is due to Caesar, he shall get it. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, we're not expecting anything that we're not asking for from the universe. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. So, I'd like to ask you one more question. Um, well, a um, few more. One more question. <laughs> <laughs> few more. Mm. Okay, let's move to Ellerton. Ellerton, what questions you got? Yeah, I, I was just going to just quickly ask you if you could play um, another role in the, the movie, which, without giving away too much, which role would you play? So if you had the opportunity, say for instance, KD Pascal said to you, you know what, Kingpin, I'm going to switch you to play another role, question mark, yeah, which one would you like to play? Well, I definitely couldn't play another role because everybody <laughs> nailed it. Trust me. Okay, can it, I just get that one question in? Come back okay. to me. Mm -hmm. When you didn't want to play the character that you sent Rudy for, what was that all about? Um, at the time, I, I, I couldn't really fly okay. to that location. Okay. So at the end of the day, why would I want to... Um, you know, stop someone else mm -hmm. that is in my triangle mm -hmm. to do. That, that's, that's very nice. Yeah. Really, really considerate. Yeah, I, I, I would just I pass it that. on. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Rudy is really well, one I of my best friends. I think we should really. do that more. Yeah, I yeah. find in our community, yeah. a lot of people don't tend to do those things. So yeah. I don't know yeah. why, yeah. because you're not losing nothing. But funny enough, gain. it wasn't for me. Mm. Okay. And that was the vibration mm. I was getting at the yeah. time. And funny enough, they wanted fats. Mm. So... Yeah, I couldn't do for that position at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. There's a picture that they have with you and Rudy. Mm-hmm. Um, you know which picture I'm talking about? Pepe, break. Ella. Question. Let her let her ask the question. Let her ask the question. Interact with people. We can't just have one. Come. Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Just very quickly, if um, so, anyone else in the the whole um in the movie. Um, this might be a bit of a hard question. Who do you think, apart from yourself, apart from yourself, is going to blow people away? You know, in terms of an amazing <laughs> character. That might be a very hard question. Well, um, we have been to three screening, mm-hmm. right? And I don't watch a movie from the second one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I watch the audience. And Bolo is a very strong character. Right. Rudy and myself is a very memorable. So just for audience sake, you you play yourself in the movie, yes? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Michael is in it. Okay. No, no, Kingpin. Kingpin. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a brand as well. Mm-hmm. It's not only <laughs> a name. It's yeah. a brand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're going to war, you know, so we're yeah. going to war, you know, better. Yeah, so... Anyway, let's go on. Yeah, sorry, carry on. What was the question? You you lost. Apart, apart from yourself, yourself who else? The name and yeah. so on, we get the name together. In the movie, and, yeah. In the part you play and stuff. Well, mm-hmm. honestly, um, from day one, the script blew me away. Mm-hmm. And I think that whoever is in the movie right now, There could never be anyone to replace anyone. Mm. Yeah, that's, yeah. A good, that's a that's a good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. Mm-hmm. And so, um, this is just my last question. So, so after the movie's finished, everybody's watched the movie, and they're driving back home. They're excited. They're going home now. Yeah. What do you think people are going to be saying when they're heading home in their car after the movie? <sighs> sitting around the table, eating dinner. <laughs> what are they going to be saying? What's, what do you think the feedback is going to be? I think the feedback is going to be a great one because of what I heard and the emotions. You know, it, the, the movie is very connective yeah. Yeah, to the audience. Mm-hmm. You know, I have to give um, Pascal his props. Okay, I have to give... Um, Bolo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bolo is good, very good at his script. Mm-hmm. This guy is like a computer. Once he get it, mm-hmm. it's just as... And that's key in yeah. acting, yeah. Yeah. script. Yeah, and uh, one yeah. take is very take, good too take, because it, it doesn't waste yeah. a lot of time. Yeah. So we've done a lot of that as well. We've done some one takes as yeah. well. So I, I have to pat ourselves on the shoulder as well to say that, yeah, well done because even... Yeah. The, the cast the, and the crew was very happy. So quick we, question. In terms of time and schedule, did the movie finish on schedule or, or go over schedule? What, what from from our, the man in the middle point of view, mm-hmm. what you think about okay, the schedule, Pascal. Mr. Pascal? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. um, what your schedule was like? I know the mic is away from you. That's a quick question. I'm going to let's run some questions along while I'm here now because, you know, yeah. Yeah, Um, I mean, overall, it... it Took longer than it should have. Yeah. Um, when you factor in COVID, COVID, <laughs> two years. Yeah. yeah, it just yeah. literally drove a stake right yeah. through the middle. So mm. we had to wait a long time. But once we started shooting again, yeah, we, yeah, budget we, wise, did, did, did mm. budget was budgeting good or no? No, we was within, but we was good budget. within budget. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, we made it work. Yeah, and also atmosphere. What's the atmosphere like in the team? Like in mm. in in, in, in the, within the crew? Because that that have a lot to do with the yeah, movie. You know mm. how the atmosphere. You know, trans transcentral uh, a team of people working together to to accomplish a certain you know project. So, 
what the atmosphere is now and what was it then at the beginning? I mean, the atmosphere now is good. It's really yeah. good. I feel like we're, you know, I'm, I'm, I think it's safe to say that we're, we're really pleased mm -hmm. with the outcome. Um, during mm -hmm. the, the shooting of the movie, me, my personal opinion, I thought it was good because we was able to fly to Cyprus, yeah. fly to Hungary, Budapest. Mm -hmm. So whilst we was abroad, it yeah. was just like, we're looking at each other like, well, you know, we're from the ends. Like, what are we yeah. doing here? Like, mm -hmm. and these people are looking at us funny, calling us yeah. Spike Lee. We're seeing different American actors so just walking through Budapest. Oh yeah, most definitely. Because the these people, they weren't used to seeing black people. Okay. So yeah. for us, it's like, we're thinking, right, man's from Bricky. So hold like, on a minute, stick a pin there. Because you just open a can of worms for a lot of people who will be watching this podcast and who are watching this movie have seen abroad as well yes because a lot of people perception is that like a uk ja thing mm -hmm. so it's a full european traveling and different seed in different countries oh yeah and stuff. yeah we, we so, are the whale of a time man great like it was we could make a film mm -hmm. about the making of the film wow but, so you have enough materials to do oh that. yeah yeah mm -hmm. we, we 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 brought south london to these Together. European, European, like, you know, not for nothing is like even certain places we get into fights in a club because we were so, sorry, That's Bolo, but yeah, yeah, me, yeah, me and Bolo story. got attacked, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but look out for the book in Waterstones, but I know black people don't go Waterstones <laughs> right now, so, but yeah, no, joking, it was, it's, it was an experience, man, so it was I'm, brilliant. I'm, touch one elite, I'm just moving across the board while we're here talking yeah. right now, randomly, yeah. because, you know, of time, and we've got two lovely ladies want to ask questions again, get them perked up. You understand me? So, um, I was one of the actors in the flip film. Yeah. Okay. How is it to work with a man as Mr. Pascal? Yeah, Demas, because my experiences on um, Little Bastards before um, my friend Wayne, mm -hmm. that's got a good eye. He's, 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 he worked with one camera doing different takes, so it took yeah. longer. So he would use one camera and do the same thing like behind, side, all kind of different angles. Demas, when I saw Demas work with his eye with the camera, I mm -hmm. said, yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's yeah, getting the right shots. He can take that box off. And yeah, he's that getting the right shots, the right, yeah. right yeah, angles. Yeah, yeah. And I okay. saw that he was good. Um, what he didn't like, he, he said, yeah, no, we've got to do that again. And I could see what he meant, not being awkward or anything. Yeah. He said, yeah. Yeah, do that and again. As, as one of the actors yeah, in, in, in the film as well, how is it like to work with the ladies that are around? That they're not here in person. Yeah. But, um, give us some high and low moments that working throughout the film. It's like some great moments. Doesn't matter. But give mm -hmm. people an insight of what no. making the film and the journey are. Some good times where you could say, yeah, that 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 really grabbed our memory. Right, that was a great time as a group. Yeah. Well. Well. Um, with the ladies, it yeah. wasn't that hard really because they just they they the, 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 commend the ladies that's not here. Yeah. Um, Tracy and Kim while they was on my scene. Um, um, Blue Eyes, mm -hmm. yeah, big up Blue Eyes. I got to see you, yeah, yeah. But I got to see Blue Eyes. She's a she's a G. Yeah, all all the ladies just fit in their places the right way. Mm -hmm. There was nothing to be said. Everything they done, they done off their own accord. Like Great. they just fit into Great. place. That is good. You understand? And they 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 embrace their little role they got, and just look out for them ladies in the future. You know, like yeah. mm -hmm. they they want to be a part of this, and they they seen us doing our speaking role. So next time they might get a speaking role. Hopefully, they get a speaking role and they embrace it, and it could take them. We would like far. problem in the studio at some point. Yeah, I'll definitely. That's the, the next part. You, um, you could yeah. catch a good one, connection with them. It's going to be a role yeah. thing where we're going to work together and get something set yeah. out because, yeah. as we say, unity is strength. And definitely. And as a team, and I see great people in front of me. So we're willing to work with great people because that's what we all are. So mm -hmm. it's now time for us to rise up and Definitely. that we are great people and inspired by other great people. Because without that, we are lost. Yeah. So I'm going to ask two more questions after yourself. I'm going to leave the ladies to take over the interview. Yeah. And I'm going to take myself away from the middle for a little bit cool, cool. until the end of the interview. So I'm going to ask two more questions. One from Mr. Pascal, one from Kingpin. And then I'm going to be off screen for a little bit, people, and let the two ladies take over for, for, for the rest of the interview. All right? Yeah. So, we're not finished with you yet. Uh, we're just okay. going to pass the mic to the general in the middle. Yeah. And then we're just going to blah, bam, uh, boom, bang. But finish what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the ladies done good. Yeah. You know, they're good. And we, they do a lot and they loved it. And they believe in us. Yes. Mm. You know, I heard people say, I saw a friend in the club and said, 
how come you bring Kim on? You make Kim be a part. You never call. When you lot was it's saying like, this, you lot, you when I was going out you know, in the mornings and, and doing it at the times where I had to do things, yeah. Yeah. you lot didn't want to be part of it. So why should I call you? Yeah, and they see it like this and they think it's just, yeah, it's true. Yeah. You see it as a regular person, but yeah. those person got. Those, mate. These people, yeah, these people are believers. Inside. Kim, yeah. Kim. Inside. Kim is a um, poet in her own right. Like she believes it. Like she writes her poems. She's a she's a female that never gives up. Like well, she up in, never, never give up. Female that never give up. That's where you stop. Yeah. Yeah. Within our culture, our music and dance hall, people yeah. see us as in the dance. Because people yeah. don't know that I'm a builder. Mm. That's true. Until they come on a site and see me, say, so, you know what? Move that. Put that over there. So give me the drawing. You do that. Then they're like, right, it. Yeah, yeah, you, you do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm saying, That's when I'm partying. Yeah, this is what pays the bill. This is what right. pays the insurance. This is what that's right. The cars run off. That's, that's right. When I'm spending, yeah, because definitely. Most of us don't earn from these gigs, mm-hmm. so we have to have the real job. That's and right. We have, to have a hustle that we can. We have to have a gift outside of of the dance you know, hall. Like most people will view it up. you, as you rightfully say, yeah. by just socializing. Yeah, they view you as that person. That's right. We need to stop that. Get to know a person. Get to know what they do. You may learn something. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. even that, like, yeah. when I'm... Um, no, but still, I don't know why. Why When I go out, they say, yo, movie star, movie star. Yeah. <laughs> like, they people, connect, they, they, they they, there's something the there. They believe. And, and that's the serious thing. Like, yeah. when you're in a character, someone, people have to believe you. Yes. Like, to say, you, you look like a movie star. You can't act. <laughs> or, or get out of you and say, child, you don't know yeah, nothing about acting. You, you, you win and show them. You win yeah. and show but them. But man, <laughs> prove that. You man, know, prove you know that. You know that. Damn, you go and show them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> damn, man. Happened, yeah, you done that, man. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. we, we proved that. Like, yeah. you know, you can't take us. We, we believe in what we believe in. And you see that we can do it. It's not no girl. Because that's, yeah. that's the thing. Because I could hear. While I was on the screen at the um, screening, I could hear people's voice. When my scene came in, mm. and people, I could hear people's breathing. If people were like, oh, yeah, it's good morning. So How did you believe feel? in oh, like, I don't want to take really away. Because I've got some questions of my own. And these questions are real man questions I need to ask. Yeah, yeah. But the ladies are here. And I don't want to sort of take over. Because I'm a DJ. Yeah. I, I do interview. But I want to push these two ladies. Because that's... What no, I want them to do. Thing, but do I'm going to ask you, how do you feel as a person within the theatre at that time looking at... Because I've been in theatre where I work on the set. Mm. Yeah. Ricky Rowan. I, I've, I've known the inside out and then something's feeling bad. Yeah. 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 Ooh, ooh. Mm-hmm. You know, so... But... Let's correct that. Something is off. Yeah. Turn on something is off. Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. Correct that. Mm-hmm. All right. We're in the, we're in the, we're in the theatre, but... When we're watching, we're watching from a, we yeah, call it now, a developer, a, 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 a builder or a partaker point. Mm-hmm. We're not watching, say we go there to watch it. Yeah. So how do you feel as a person who act in the film, listening to all that voice and the whisper? What sort of emotion? Did yeah, you I just wanted to hear people's reaction. That's what you see me say, yeah, it's nice to hear people's reaction. Because yeah. even on the thing, the little clip it, what you got, mm-hmm. I was saying, yeah, people just see how people reacted because... I see that people believed what I'm doing and I, they were convinced yeah. of me, of being an actor. It's not a girl. It's yeah. the, I convinced them. So what I've done, I convinced them. Because that's what, it, I was believable then. Yeah. So they see, uh, yeah, man, you do good. Well, I saw the clips that Pepe sent to me and uh, your face light up like the star. Yeah. I couldn't believe the same person come to the door because yeah. when I, I was looking for more like a giant coming to ride. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you come here, I've got to look up her. But yeah. when I see you now in real life, I see yeah. you humble, but you still Character. got that same demeanor. Yeah. But, moment, you, you, but at that time when I saw you on set, when the, the premiere was on, yeah. I think everyone at that time had a certain glow on their face. Even the people who are talking about the film. Yeah. No one, Pepe didn't ask them to carry on like that. Yeah. You could see the genuinity in, in this lady's eyes yeah. and people were so like there yeah. was a, it was like when Timmy came out or something intrigued there, there was intrigue there the, mm-hmm. the, the fake, fake film that they made the other day yeah but Black 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 Black. Uh, uh, Mar- the African one that they did the other day uh, with the um, character Wakanda yeah when that come out yeah it's like that's how, but this one was more like genuine joy yeah the, the people yeah. that you yeah. you can hear face. Peaches yeah. like yeah. even yeah. Peaches' yeah. thing so, like what she said I said wow she said that like it was it was nice to hear Peaches say that like Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, wow, Peter, like... Our pieces on the clips is in the studio with us right now. Lady Peter, this is it. Nah, let's put the team in our chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she yeah. said so that about... I don't want to take you away from the interview with Mike. I will, I will just run through all, all of these questions. All day, even know all day. So I'm going to ask the general question yeah. and leave you yeah. with it, ladies, all right? So, 
as he, as he, as I just asked him about the ladies, how is it working with the ladies on this on this film as a a man who in charge? Yeah, no, it was. Yeah, yeah. It, it was um yeah it was it was yeah. it was pretty cool is it, it was good to be able to um because with the ladies I f- like my 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 thing is um I like to be able to um push women to the yeah. forefront yeah, like, that's always been my thing yeah. even from the you beginning the Queens, man. You ever done absolutely <laughs> because I think for me as a you know overall creator mm-hmm. I, I like to um take inspiration whether i'm talking to kingpin on the yeah, phone nice. um even when i'm talking to rudy or lb yeah. i like to listen a lot yeah. because um yeah feedback's important to me it helps like me that. to sort of gain more clarity and i think speaking with women yeah. um i've always been a, a, a person that um growing up i've always been sort of like n- not a victim of my own yeah. ideas but i like to take on board other people's I'm creativity and express, quickly as you mm. go because i don't want to stay long with you mm. either how do you choose them? Do you see them or do they audition or what you call it? Or did they just um, s- morph s- into that character as it go along? Are you just saying, you know what? Mm-hmm. Susie, we saw that. Mitzi, we fit up here. And so the one that we're working on, it work out mm-hmm. that way. Yeah, and it, it's, it's through, you know, people like Rudy as well that yeah. recommended some of the, the, the ladies yeah. to me. And some of them come through audition as well. Oh, great. So I've seen um, a bit of mixture it's, of both. Yeah, it's a bit of a mixture. I'm going to chop you right there. Kingpin, quickly. Being playing a character, Kingpin, I know, what am I, what am I, can we are more fast? Then we can left it with, with the ladies then. Playing you, Kingpin, how difficult was it? Playing Kingpin himself. Mm. I know you're going to say yes, but tell me something that you say. Well, it know. was easy because I'm great at what I do. Well done. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, as a Kingpin playing Kingpin within the frame, how did it affect other people? Because I know Kingpin say in real life in a certain way. So, does it rub off anyone? Bad or did anyone feel any way about that? You no. Kingpin, Kingpin? Funny enough, you know, you know, the reason why I decide to do that is mm-hmm. because most of the cast yeah. know me as Kingpin. King. Mm-hmm. And, and at the short notice where we got them in, yeah. it, it, it would be kind of difficult for them to be calling me something else yeah. at that time. So, just yeah, I, I just brought that Kingpin into cooperation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, what is the high point within the movie? Have you got a couple of high points that you could share with people? One that you could say, "Boy, you know what? Yeah, that's something that's going hard." Mm. Yeah, I, I, you know, I went um, I pick up fast, yeah. fats at the airport, yeah, really nice. and the whole roof lift off <laughs> down in Brixton. And that not people like Kim Pesat to lays about the same thing. <laughs> 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 I don't want to talk about the whole thing. Yeah, I, don't yeah, yeah. I don't see it yet. And then I haven't seen it, but it. as I, I said to you both, and 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 and, and, and uh, Pepe know this, but Pepe have seen yeah. some of the clips. Uh, I've seen the whole thing. You've seen the whole thing. <laughs> we haven't seen nothing yet. I know. So uh, I kind of like your vibes because imagine, you know what happened now. The way you're speaking is like you've seen it. So if mm. you if I'm you judging, haven't seen I'm it, Pepe, all. don't tell him nothing. Let him come to the next screen in which probably will be in North London soon. I don't know the storyline. I don't know the storyline. I'm just talking general. Ella Chin, yeah. we're going to go to a quick ad break, play this ad, the, 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 the actual movie ad, to get up mm-hmm. people up to speed what to expect when they go see this movie, all right? So let's do this. After that, you will see Ella Chin and Pepe the Great on screen, and also they will start with Kingpin, all right? So let's mm-hmm. go to a quick ad break. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to continue where we had left off with speaking with Kinpin. Pepe? Yes. Um, yeah, we're here listening to... Well, we're not actually listening. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, we're taking in a vibe and a medi yep. from the Badness cast. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to ask um, Katie Pascal a question. Um, wait, was there ever a time in the filming that you believe that it wasn't going to go ahead was there anything that made you have doubts you know made you believe that i want to give this up i'm going to shut this down mm. it's not going to happen Challenges, i'm giving up mm-hmm. what was the most thing that you can remember that wanted you m- was going to cause you to throw in the towel i, I don't think i have ever thought about actually throwing in the towel because I'm a, I'm a strong believer in mm. once I start something, it's sure. got to get done. Mm. No matter what, that's just me. Like, I know sure. I come across simple, but there's a real 
Real, real lion inside. You don't look yeah. simple at all. No, no you don't look simple. Don't. Well, I guess I'm not a good actor then. That's why I don't add. You don't Definitely look not. simple. No, but you know, I will say though, through the COVID situation, mm-hmm. that sort of um, cast a little bit of doubt, be- yeah. only because I thought certain key people within the production, mm-hmm. um, and that is the the crew and a few actors that they may feel like, you know, what? no, it's not happening. So I was a little bit concerned, but then after a while, and I, you know, after speaking with them, and um, they sort of gave my confidence again. But otherwise, no, I, I'm just that person. When I, once I clamp my teeth into something, it's going to get done. Mm-hmm. I promise you. So, um, Rudy, yeah. when you're playing your character, yeah. how do you feel? Because when we was actually at the screening, yeah. When you died, everyone cheered. Well, when you got <laughs> shot, should I say? Because we don't know if you're dead yet. Yeah. But when you got shot, everybody cheered. Yeah. 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 Because um, I could I could understand yeah. them 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 they they not seeing the thing picture they they just feel it for Bolo in that yeah. time in that moment they were feeling it for Bolo. Yeah. What is going through? Everybody's cutting his throat. Everybody's cheating and lying. Yeah. And he seems like he's getting the knocks. But at the end of the day, you can see a bit from... They've got to be two sides. There's always two sides as a story, isn't it? Like, did you feel bad when they cheered when you died? Or did you feel good? A piece of me jump. A piece of me jump. I said, oh, really? I, really? <laughs> I said, yeah. why are you cheering for me? Yeah, but a piece of me jump. A piece of me jump. I said, well, go on. Like, <laughs> what did I, I do? Oh, yeah, I've been a bad man <laughs> in the film. Yeah, because I was a bad so man. Well. Yeah, you played the character so well. Yeah. That, is, that would have chuffed me to say, yeah. well, boy, they believed that. Mm-hmm. But you did say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? You yeah. said that they believed you that much. They believed but, it. But, yeah. you know, some people, they get a stick. For being a character that's not real. Yeah, people that's right. That, I see that, and I hear that in um, so many interviews. They yeah. they see people on the street, and they, you know, when I have a go at the yeah. actor, you know, in the yeah. real life, because they don't like what they how they yeah. play themselves on on the screen. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's so really like, people like take like it on for real. Phil. Yeah. yeah, I think everyone hated Phil, in it. Yeah, <laughs> LB, um, you've been quiet over there. Is there yeah. any way that we can hear from you quick and fast? Yeah, definitely. Um, LB, um, yep. did you actually travel? Oh, yeah. He said that when he got to the airport, he saw you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. your character, how comfortable was you with your character? Did you believe that your character could have done done and said more or had more parts? Or you, was you just happy with that little thing, you know, thing that you had there? Because mm. well, I wanted to see more of you. Well, we did um, film some other bits. But um, it didn't get used. Am I right? And um, I would say um, we could have, we was going to do more stuff and everything because the character of Roman needs to blend in with Bolo, isn't it? So it's like he's Bolo's like um, second eyes, like mm-hmm. right hand man. So it's like we was going to like deep into Roman, how Roman is. Mm-hmm. Like, because he's got a bit of a screw loose, things wrong with him. So it'll explain, like, mm-hmm. why he acts like that and how he is. Mm-hmm. But just seeing him, you just think, oh, he's just a little hothead. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, the director let me um, let me play with the character by, like, he, he, like certain times I'd ask like, the director certain things, and he'll be like, well, you tell me. You're Roman, isn't it? What would Roman do? Mm-hmm. And I was like, rah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And then that made me add other stuff to it. So he gave me free reign where sometimes some directors will be a bit kind of tight with it and be like, no, I want you to be like this. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Cool. That's fine. Yeah. Hello? So, Kingpin, um, w- at what point, and, and I think um, I want to ask everybody this actually, so it will come back from Kingpin all the way back to El Rey. At what point in your LB? Sorry, because that's a completely LB. different artist. L B. El Rey. I did say El Rey. Didn't yeah, it? that's another artist Renegade, that had been on weeks ago. But yeah, El Rey. Don't mind Renegade, her. Don't yeah, mind he's, her. A, he's a hip hop <laughs> artist actually. El Rey. Yeah, El Rey. Sorry, LB. Queen America is that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the general. <laughs> exactly. General. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. So, King Ping, at what point did you feel? I know that um, Pepe asked um, KD Pascal his question. 
as an actor, you're doing, you know, you're acting. Did you think, what was the biggest challenge? Where was the point? Because from 2017, you've all been doing this, isn't it? 14. 24, oh God, oh. 24. Oh, 2017. you're 17, you're 14. 2014. So at what point did you think, you know what, no, this is this challenge, this is a challenge. This is not, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. I know we've already asked you that question, didn't we, um, KD Pascal? Uh, to be honest, Corona was the biggest challenge because mm -hmm. that was something against our will. Mm. And if it was up to our will, it would have been done in that time. And um, I was looking forward for it to come out as soon as they killed um, Top Boy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because we are the next generation, of course. whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I have to ask Pascal, do you really know what you're doing here? Mm -hmm. It's bigger than us, bro. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I will never stop empowering him for us to reach a limit that mm -hmm. we want to reach. And, and, and for us, there is no limit true. with, bad, the with the badness. Mm -hmm. No, the sky is not even the limit. There's ah, yeah, a limit true. beyond true. the sky. Beyond Venus. Yeah. 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 Infinity. Yeah. Infinity. Same question to Rudy. Yeah, because I think we've asked KD Pascal that question already. So, Rudy and then LB. Yeah, yeah. could you say that again? Rephrase that. Yeah, so basically, which was... Um, during the time of your, um, you know, the acting and, yeah. you know, rehearsals, what was the big, when did you feel that okay, challenge that was really heavy against you that you felt that you could have probably not continued with this, that you just feel now, this is this is not for me? Because you're human, no. so you're going to have these times. I didn't even think of giving up. That's good. No, no time That's I think of giving answer. up, like, really. Mm -hmm. All the time I wanted to just see it completed, innit? Because mm. I've done one thing. I've done the first thing, Little Bastards, where I believed in, put all my time in that with some major TV mm. stars, and it never came out. So when it came down to Demas, and he knew more of, and he was more grounded, and he believed in what he was doing, I said, nah, mm. I'm going to ride this till the wheels fall off, really. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give up on this. I, I, I want to see it. Well, when Demas is just... I've been like coming with some certain talk. Uh, yeah. I said, Cha, brush that off. Come on, man, we're going for it. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm always like there That's saying, it. nah, come on. Mm -hmm. Like, if Demas, because the, all the weight's on Demas, isn't it? Yeah. So mm -hmm. when Demas has his bad days, I said, Cha, all this is happening. But, Cha, we're going to do this. You and he just said, yeah, man, I will, I will prep him up. Mm -hmm. Prep him up and say, yeah, Oops. keep going. I prep him and say, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, man, we're going to do it. Let's go for it. Yeah. You know, I never d doubted it. I never doubted it. And you see, when it comes to this now, and it, and it, it's, it's fully completed, and people love it. Yeah. Because when the screening, and as Kingpin said, you know, when when I got shot and people railed and mm -hmm. there's happy and rare, 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 you know, <laughs> yeah, it it's touched you know. Because everything, isn't it? everything was rolling yeah. off fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything at the end, you you, yeah. Yeah, you be sitting there watching. Oh, who's this? Who's this yeah. brother? Yeah. Mm, they say, yeah, me not like him. <laughs> yeah. That guy, you yeah, fussy. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. that, that could be like what they're thinking. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's, they're rolling with, they're rolling with Bolo. So mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. Bolo, they, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, when yeah, the other man get a punch, the they character. must go, ooh, yeah, yeah. 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 They yeah. feel everything, you know? That you know? Feeling, yeah. So they feel, it's like they mature the punch, you get me? So <laughs> they feel everything. True, so true. I can understand, it grabbed them so much. It was so mm -hmm. Beautiful but where you see it grab them. Yeah, that's it grabbed them. Because yeah. it rolled up. At the end, everything was going bang, 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 bang. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the series, everything connected like a big puzzle. Yeah. And it's there's a people going, yeah, people going, oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. People yeah. emotions. You could hear it in the arm um, thing. They were just yeah. going, oh, oh, oh. You're hearing them. Because there's that a piece that a um, for there's you, a piece that demons filmed yeah. in the in the crowd okay. of the yeah. reaction of the crowd and it's it's bare ours you can hear like people them like was they they were bawling like they was in pain so yeah that was <laughs> it was good it was yeah. good. Right. You're listening to Global Waves and you, we have here right now we have the Badness Crew. You're listening to Ella Chin, Pepe the Great, and DJ Orthodox at the Engineering Channel. Pepe the Great is here and she is here with the bad 
this cast, the series, the actors, and we are getting deep down. We are going way deep down. I said, Rudy has been giving us clips after clips in his mm -hmm. mind letting us know how he feels mm -hmm. katie pascal has told us how he made his journey to become where he is today kingpin is taking it easy as he does cool warm and easy mm -hmm. and sophisticated <laughs> you know how he rolls and i said lb is just there mm -hmm. he's playing who he is yeah. the humble lion what i want to say right now is we've had a wonderful day here right now and i'm telling you we have turned our personality and our characters inside mm -hmm. out. Everybody's had a rinse. Even DJ <laughs> Orthodox has gone way in. Yeah? And I love the way you guys have got on. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yes. I like to see men get on. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Good. That's mm -hmm. why us women, we just keep ourselves quiet mm -hmm. and, and just, just watch. watch you guys yeah. have a wonderful time. You know what I'm saying? We know how to get on with men. All right, Ella? It's true. We do. Yeah. We do. We are men's we women. Mm -hmm. Yeah? We know how to act around men yep. and we know how we to keep them. men happy. We understand them and not a lot of women don't we know how to do that. It's, you understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the thing... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's that a different podcast. Yeah. That's yeah. a different podcast. Yeah, the or, thing is... Or is that Dr. Phil, as just <laughs> Judy would say? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. thing is, if you're not a I queen, you don't know how um, to treat a king. Where yeah. are we? That's it. Yeah. Listen, Pin Pin, can you say that again? If you're not a queen, you do not know how to treat a king. Simple. True, true, true. And we are Simple. empresses in our own right. Mm -hmm. Kings and queens, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? Empress and emperors, that is what we are. You know what I'm saying? We are original royalty. black melanin royalty. royalty. That is what we are. So um, if you, Kingpin, was going to ask KD a question, what would it be? If I was to ask KD Pastel a question, Pastel what would a it question. Be? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Peppy, she question. does these yeah. things. This that, is what yeah. That's does. something I, I would really have to think about carefully. Okay, pass the mic. Thank you. Rudy, if you was going to ask yeah. LB a question, what would it be? Oh, to do with the film, the to series, do with the film. rehearsal, you know, locations. Um, oh, yeah, how we can use, um, like, to move on. Because... Well, as we were speaking back, we're speaking about um, like, cause it, you see, this is a, like an independently, independently done film, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, it's gonna cost money mm -hmm. to even bring season two. So, K, um, LB, LB and KD mm -hmm. Demas, like, they're gonna have to come together, mm -hmm. you know, as a unit, and and um, you know, work with each other to um, yeah. If we don't get the funding. We gotta have to find some way of putting it together because I believe in they can do it. Mm -hmm. So, so we can do it as a team. Car, um, we now give up on it. We now right. give up I on like it. That. So, you know? Pascal, Inside. would it be if? Well, how was it for you and the funding and bringing money together mm -hmm. and making sacrifices? How question. did it feel? I mean, you made sacrifices. You took something from somewhere and put it somewhere else you went without you know how was that for you mm. um it was a it was a it was an experience but i will say due to you know things that i've learned growing up in life how to put deals together legal or illegal it helped me to <laughs> <laughs> it did help me to i mean you know what the, the the fact of the matter is this when you got a good product and you know you got a good product or an idea right you got to know how to leverage that you got to know you know where the big bank is draw mm -hmm. upon past experiences I, even take you know um um ideas that you had back in the days and think of success successes you've had in the past in putting deals together mm -hmm. and you present the necessary people with the idea of the product and get them to believe in you because people really invest in you before they actually invest in the idea. Um, and due to my track record, I was able to gain confidence and trust yeah. with certain people. And they know that I'm good for it. I don't monkey around with people's money. I get the job done and that's it. Would and once I give you my word, that's it. Now? Would I find it easier? Yeah, would you find it easier or harder? 
mm. Te- technically yeah. it should be easier because we've already proven mm-hmm. that not only do we have a good product mm-hmm. right and, and and the people have spoken and you know once you've got the people's confidence yeah. mm-hmm. and you approach an investor there's not too much you really need to say True. unless they just don't want to mm-hmm. give you the money but we don't stop there you know so I'm, I'm confident we'll get it we'll get money one for this one question. can you actually hear me on the mic here oh yeah there it is i got it now yeah so what would you choose to ask rudy if you was going to answer him a question what would it be <laughs> <laughs> the way rudy's looking like yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> have you ever? He knows what I'm gonna ask him. He knows what I'm gonna ask him. What? You, what is it? Do you really want to be in part two? <laughs> oh, hi. Where's the team? I thought it was something. No, because yeah. you know what? You know what? Because because of his because people perceive that he's dead in part one. He said. He said. Oh, Demon! Remember what he said in the thing. Demon, you gotta kill me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I actually It'll thought be. he was gonna ask you to put that piece of chicken leg back because <laughs> we know you like your food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, I want to be in season two, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. Because, um, right, so I'm I'm not gonna say anything because I'm not gonna give away anything. But I tell you one thing: I was just watching the movie and just watching the movie. But I tell you the best. The best bit of that movie, the best idea was the ending. Yeah. Okay. When that ending bit, yeah. it touched me. I was like, oh, I couldn't believe. Okay. And I just think out of the whole movie, <laughs> that was because I'm blase, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. And I ain't seen or yeah, I used to a yeah. lot of things. And, yeah. you know, I was watching it in my stride. Yeah. And then when I saw that, I thought, I feel, I'm more with this. this. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good. I'm like, over this. I was watching it like doing my thing. Like, oh, I'm glad I even looked at the screen. Yeah, or you would have missed it. That's yeah, going to make the people want to watch it. Try yeah, and you, you would have missed it. And the thing about it is, yeah. when I spoke to the director, KD Pascal, he said, well, we don't really know what's going to happen. Because yeah. what we saw is not necessarily, because I saw them bring Dirty Den back to life. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Happen. So anything Many times. can happen in our series, yeah. in our movie. That's so right. He said, you don't know what's happening. Yeah. We don't know because something happened to you. We don't yeah. know what happened. And I love that. And even the girl said in the Ritz, cliffhanger. We're going to welcome Peaches onto the set. This is Peaches Frida. You know what I'm saying? Um, right hand man, right hand girl. She's the girl that is behind the camera when Pepe the Great is doing her thing. Mm-hmm. And she's always forever got my back. Very supportive. And you've got to give friends like this yeah. a big, big, big respect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Peaches, take it away. Okay. Blessing, everybody. Blessings, Peaches. I just want to ask one or two questions, not much. Um, I just want to ask, where are you guys heading from this point onwards? Where can you see yourself heading as a mm-hmm. team? work together from this point onwards mm-hmm. who wants to answer me anyone can answer anybody first. can answer you me yeah well yeah 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 well as a team yeah i think we're heading for greatness because i've been watching top boy from part one and it's not being biased. I'm speaking, and not because I'm in this film. I think it's a better storyline. Trust me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh? I think um, we're here to stay, because mm-hmm. this series will never be sold out to anybody anywhere Mm -hmm. we're gonna stick as a team Mm -hmm. we're gonna pull together Mm -hmm. and make this dream work that's good yeah mike Mm. 
you know what? I, I, I want to say this in answer to your, it, it's relatable to your question. Um, last year, I was working, because I do work with um, some of the networks, Channel 5, Channel 4. Last year, I worked with um, Channel 5 on, um, on a big project. It was um, called Kingpin Cribs. Mm -hmm. And um, we got nominated for a BAFTA. And which for me was it was a it was a great thing for me because coming from where I come from, I never expected to get nominated for a BAFTA. We didn't win, yeah, we didn't well, win. Well, but well. just the nomination yeah, alone, alone for me, yeah. I felt like I won. Yeah. And yeah. um, and I and you know something, it was all great. And I'm coming to the answer, it was all great. But when it come down to um, um, being invited to the parties, mm. I remember being the only one that didn't get the personal invite. Because I'm not, you know, I'm not prejudiced or nothing, but I was the, I was the, the main black guy there, the most influential person. But yeah. when it come down to party and clinking champagne glasses, they left me out. I didn't take it personal. Yeah. Now, in answering the, the, the question, it made me believe, right, in, you know, badness. Like, you know what? You could help them because without me, that I, I'd not been arrogant, but I don't think they would have got nominated because mm -hmm. it was my resources that... Mm -hmm you know, made it happen. So then I said to myself, you know, son, okay, so we never got the BAFTA, but with what we're doing with badness, whether you get nominated for a BAFTA, a Grammy, whatever it is, is something I believe that, um, is, 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 is something that I believe to be well-deserved amongst us, amongst our people, yeah. because you can go across the line and I've, I've been across the line, I've been in the industry, and this is the second time. The first time was with ITV, where I worked with Ross Kemp on another documentary, and they never invited me to the party. I'm not bitter, because I don't want to party with them, yeah, but the sure. fact that I was very instrumental, mm -hmm. right, in putting these pieces together, and they don't want to, it's all good, yeah, yeah, Demas, mm -hmm. come on board, but when it comes to party, they want to they wanna leave you out. So I thought yeah. to myself, you know what? The party is where you naturally embrace. Exactly. Yeah. Naturally yeah. Embrace that's right absolutely and i'm telling you I, I can tell you story for days i'm not going to put down these 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 um mm -hmm. networks but they if they're watching they know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. and they know who i'm talking to yeah. right yeah they, you're all good when when it's time to help them you're traveling up and down the country mm -hmm. and they need you and you're saving their mm -hmm. show but when it's time to party mm -hmm. oh no um yeah it doesn't feel yeah we're a bit we're a bit concerned but they just pushed you up. All they've done is they've That's pushed all. you up. That's all. Yeah. That's yeah. All. I think they, I'll be honest, I think they intimidated. Yes. Yeah. I try, they I, I try not yeah. to give yeah, off that mm. energy, but mm. I think once they find out who I know and how I've connected, yeah. well, how does he know them then? Yeah. Yeah. But when you're filming with them, oh yeah, mm. pat you on your back and yep. Yep. give you an extra bonus in your check and everything. But when it comes to being around, because I'm a person I can easily sort of like, be around those people and make friends, yeah, make yeah, connections, yeah. and that's how I've grown. Want to do what they're doing. Yeah, they don't that's want. That's all it is. Yep. Well, it you be. can do what they're doing. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Uh, badness is really um, a unique kind of film, mm. which it started off as a movie, mm. then it becomes a series. So, everyone in this series. Mm -hmm. It's got their own unique kind of thing to them. Mm -hmm. And and that's the beauty about this mm -hmm. film, really and truly. It will be appreciated around the world. I've got people calling me from Cayman, mm -hmm. Bahamas, Canada, wow. the United States, mm -hmm. and all over the world. You know, just oh, to say, when is it coming nice, out? Nice. When is it coming out? I said, yeah, it's coming out on Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. Oh, hurry up, hurry up and deal with this thing. That's not how it works, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, these things take time. Yeah, this... Uh, so, Katie, uh, what, what I want to ask you is, you know, Peaches did ask you where you're going with this, but, you know, I've got people calling my phone just like Kingpin mm -hmm. saying, Peppy, yeah. where can we watch the movie? Where can I put it on Instagram and they're like, where can we watch it? Where mm. can we go and see it? So um, I heard that you was trying to get it on Netflix. So what is the plan for the public and the world yeah. to really see it at That's the right. round of court? Mm. Right. So, you know, I know everyone's be, everyone would be getting this question. Um, 
obviously these things take time in, mm -hmm. in, 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 you know, in regards to the process. Um, what's happening at the moment is um, I'm waiting to secure a distribution deal. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can put it out on Amazon, but mm -hmm. the reason why I'm not doing that right now mm -hmm. is because if I secure this distribution deal, what happens is that then it opens up the floor to be able, for us to be able to put it onto streaming channels, i.e. Netflix, okay. Amazon, mm -hmm. to there's like a plethora of different mm -hmm. streams. If I come yeah. if I put on Amazon, you just be out, be out on Amazon okay. and then the rest of the world would be sort of like mm -hmm. in limbo. Restricted. Well mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I wanna mm -hmm. I wanna put it out there on as much multiple um streaming channels as mm -hmm. possible. Not only that, but I'm trying to also secure um, a minimum guarantee, which means that we'll get an advance to start shooting part two. Yeah. If I put it on Amazon, then what's going to happen? I'm going to have to go around to investors yeah. and wait. But if I get a minimum, if I can secure a minimum guarantee, then they'll give me X amount of dollars to go and start shooting. So whilst it's out on a... Um, um, streaming channels we could still be shooting mm -hmm. part two in so the meantime i would like you to send me something because i'm going to continue to promote it from i've been yeah. brought on board you know i've been promoting it mm -hmm. i've been thank coming you in. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. because i'm a person i love a good thing and i love to inject myself into a good mm -hmm. thing so i'm going to take it to the extreme mm. um that is just what i am so i'm always going to promote it you understand so i would want something to tell the people and put under it to let the people know not in so much words that you just said here mm -hmm. but just something little for me to put under to let the people know that the director is ongoing something mm -hmm. and it will be available whenever do you understand because yeah people that's all stuff questions it, yeah. and people are because people are full of fashion mm. when they hear people talking oh i want to see it where can i see it mm. oh um yeah i've heard this movie where is it where can i see it because people want to see it because other mm. people have seen it so people are waiting for this movie and i don't want them to think it doesn't exist because yeah. i know a lot of movies that screened and you never see it again you never hear of it. Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen with badness. We know that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need to let them people know that this ain't going to happen like that. So just mm -hmm. send me a little thing yeah. to just add on to when I'm um, thing. Because Docs is going to continue to yeah. edit in. Yeah, thank I've you, Docs. him some yeah. footage. And global the waves, yeah. We will be yeah, Keep the fire burning. We will. We will. Yeah. We will. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, just give me something or us to just put on to just, you know, stop them from asking. Asking, yeah. You got anything? Um, just one last thing, you know, we've sat and spoken to you gentlemen today, got to know a little bit more about you. Mm -hmm. And you guys are great. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. You guys are great. Yeah. There's not a lot of men out there right now that are great. Mm -hmm. I feel it is, too. Believe me. And you've got more. <laughs> you've got much more that yeah. you need to bring. Yeah, and enough, enough together, life in us, man. Mm -hmm. How I hear all of you guys speaking. Enough life. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. good luck Tell, with everything All right, else. what you need to do, P. Yeah. How, how you guys got here today? Yeah. One was in Jerusalem, <laughs> one was in Israel, <laughs> yeah. the other yeah, one was in Greece. Well. And I, just woke, I just woke up. I wasn't even on this land. Up, yeah. But, I was hey, Pastor, enough. you're something different, you know. <laughs> this you. Yeah, Peppy, Peppy. Um, I'm coming. Yeah, yeah I love you, you know, because <laughs> when he when I phoned him, I yeah. thought, no, oh, he's going to tell me he ain't coming. But he said, no, no, I'm trying to get through to people, but I'm coming. But I love you the way, you know what, the way you, because Deliver. if you guys didn't come, there wouldn't have been no show. True. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, I organized this show yeah. for today. Yeah, yeah because well I'm only on the radio pepe. station, this mm -hmm. radio station, on the last Saturday of the month. So I organized for you lot to come here today. Yeah. So if you never came, that it would it would have I would have felt bad. Yeah. You yeah. understand? Definitely. So Definitely. I called Nigel because me and Nigel we go back. So I'm thinking, let me see where my homie is. Yeah. He said, Peps, I'm in Norbury. I said, What? I'm in Streatham. Mm. I love you. We phoned him and yeah. I forgot. Listen. Then Grab I me. phoned Kingpin. I'm so sorry, Kingpin. I gave him wrong directions. He got <laughs> off in Paris and <laughs> we're in London. And it listen, and he you know what? He was so nice. He didn't cast, he didn't say nothing. He said, Peppy, you gave me wrong directions because I thought mm. the bus garage up there was one stop away from oh, here. So yeah. I said to him, get off of the bus garage, cross the road. Oh. Way up. Mm. Yeah. So he yeah, walked. just the distance. Yeah. 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 And then KD, when you said I'll get there. I just knew as a director, you're going to reach because you got that same energy of mm. making it happen. And even mm. when I was calling, yeah. 
And I just said, it's happened to me before because I've been involved in, as you said, events management. And sometimes you do have to let... Because if I didn't call all three of you today, yeah. I just don't think maybe only you would have been here. Yeah, sure. Because when I called Kingpin, yeah. Kingpin was sleeping. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> um, really, and truly, from your call me, um, Pepe, you mm. don't know, we, we, we go back. Yeah. From he... He just said, you know yeah. what I mean? When I said, are yeah. you coming I'm today? Coming. He went, yeah. Yeah, I said, I'm who coming. is coming? And yeah. he said, oh, I, yeah. I talked to Rudy. Yeah. I know Rudy. Yeah. If Rudy says that he's coming, he's coming. So I said, once and, uh, I say Rudy. If Pascal says he's coming, yeah. he's coming. And then when I said Pascal he's gonna, coming. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he's going to crawl. I love it. I love if him. he has to crawl. Because you, you, you um took me off about seven Sorry. Bus stop. And I walked. I walked till a week. Did you not know And then I couldn't see you down the road, you know. I had to just go like that and say, Yeah, I see you. I'm a side ride. Yeah. And I really appreciate it. You're coming. No, no. I, I, no show without yeah. you. No, I want love, man. Would I never do you that, man? Done it, but it wouldn't have been nothing without you. We and definitely have to come you, back with the whole cast. And you sort it out and, and give us Same time thing. to. Really orchestrate the thing. I would love the girls yeah. to be here because everyone, because yeah. you know what happened? I, I, I feel like we're them. lost without them because you oh. see, um, that, um, what's her name? Um, Kim Kardashian. Yeah. She's the life of <laughs> the girls. Makes me laugh. Uh, honestly, she because off, she she makes girl. the thing. Tracy's oh, yeah. got bro. a vibe. Trust me. And Tracy's, yeah, yeah. But we'll yeah. definitely yeah. be doing yeah. part two. This yeah. Yeah. Love. Yeah. I love. I love I'd to love everyone. I love you to meet man. Tracy. You, yeah. you, you, you know Kim from the dance mm -hmm. there. Yeah. But I'd love you to meet Tracy. She's a wonderful, wonderful girl. And also who I like, the girl with the short hair, but you said she does she doesn't live. Oh, she's yeah. She's very good at talking. Oh, she's beautiful. Listen what I'm saying. Talking, man, I, I, I put her on my Instagram and it, it just yeah. um, blow up like Wonderful. a bomb. Yeah. Yeah, Trust me, be she's beautiful, and she's very nice. When you're mm -hmm. doing the audition for series two. You have three wonderful ladies here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're coming for the audition. Uh -huh. I actually do want to you ask Rudy, but you didn't ask me. Yes, I would like Legally to be in series two. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the thing yeah. is, I'm not really the director, but I tell you that you three would be accepted without yeah. even no, an yeah. a, 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 a no, audition. What part Trust do you me. think each one of us could play? Um, <laughs> I will have you guys in the love scenes. Oh. Would you like <laughs> I tell you what. Okay. <laughs> At least he's honest. More. At least he's honest. <laughs> I, I want to play the girl that's got the bag. The girl that stashes the bag. Uh, the, the, not, not really bad, mm -hmm. but kind of a boss lady I want to play. A boss lady oh, okay. that's got the bag. Oh, there's a space for you. Money, oh. And she keeps everything kind of in place yeah. for the bag yeah. and them. Yeah. You understand? Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, you know. The stature. <laughs> oh, Sir P. Yeah. Cursey Dial. <laughs> what, what part would yeah. Ella play? What part would Ella play? What, what, what part would I play? Yeah. <laughs> she could be a lawyer. <laughs> she could yeah. be a lawyer. Yeah. She can either be a lawyer or she can. Oh, but you know what I wanted to say to you, Katie Pascal? That was the thing. I don't know if I should say it here or off air. I'm going to say it off air. Yeah, it's valuable, it valuable. Yeah, the lawyer or could you know the preacher that's saying, um, be good, you know, stop all this badness <laughs> and rare, rare. But behind the scenes, she's up to no good. <laughs> yeah. No, just to let them know, part two is actually going to be called goodness. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I, I, listen. That's really interesting. It's a new day for me. And for you. Whoever did this, I want her back. But you're glad it's over now, though. Whoever. Just a start. Precious must have said something to you before he got killed. I don't know, man. Some personal business, innit? They need to get dealt with. I need the green light. Please don't let this pull you back in. You promised us. I need to figure out, bro, if you make a delivery for me. You can't deal with that soldier. 
Darnell played a big part in this family too, you know. Bolo, you're playing with fire. Trust me, things are gonna get mad hot. Why are you dead stamp by your father? Why are you do something for me? Be careful, Bolo. You see these men? They're not fucking about. You really want to give up that game, yeah? I'm the original Jamaican bad man. <laughs>